Oh no, that may have been a bit too loud. I'm sorry. <laughs> Hello, hi everyone. Wow, it has been a while, hasn't it? <clears throat> Uh-oh. Are we having issues? Hold on, hold, hold on, guys. Let's see. Scratchy noise. Unless maybe that was me getting in my chair? Let's see. How's it sound? Oh yeah, what the heck? Huh. Why is it doing that? I'm using the binaural microphone and it's... Sometimes when I record audios, it's like... Here, hold on. Hold on, guys. Hello? Can you still hear me? I switched over to uh, my condenser microphone. <laughs> ah, dear. Yes, hi, everyone. Yeah, for some reason, the binaural microphone... Well, like, when it works, it works really well, but it makes, like, these weird scratchy noises sometimes. Ah. Uh, dang it, I even... <sighs> I wanted to use the binaural microphone though for the stream. I wanted 3D audio. You got, you guys helped me get it, and I. Uh, well, dang. <laughs> oh, well, <coughs> excuse me. Ah. <coughs> ah. <coughs> uh, uh, all right, I gotta put it back. Well, that blew my entire idea out of the water. I was gonna do some like. Some, like, actual ASMR noises, but I can't do that anymore. So I guess I'll just have to... I guess I'll just have to talk normally using this microphone. Okay. Alright. Ugh. Sorry. Uh. One at a time. Oh my gosh. Wow. Lots of people. Alright, here we go. Starboy, Blue Snipe, Pink, Blake, Zakara, Star, Amorsar, Kevin, lose a second cup. Uh, hi, hi, coffee, hey, hello, hi, hi, lots of emojis, hearts, hey, hello, hi, oh, how, oh, how, coffee song, hello, yes, we, <laughs> OMG, oh, thank you, I, I, I'm cute, thank you, thank you, thank you, uh, scratchy noise, yeah, I heard that, hello, coffee, hi, how's it going, glitchy, scratchy, I know, congrats to MK, thank you, you, I mean, I didn't really do a whole lot, it was mainly you guys, but thank you very much for clicking the button, no, because they gave me a slight tingles, ha, 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 well, I'm glad they gave you tingles, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna hopefully get more tingles, I, I have some Canada Dry beside me. It's it's uh, ginger ale that we have in Canada, of course. <laughs> so I'm a little hyper right now. Uh, mm. Peter, you got a boyfriend. Congrats. Happy for you. That's good. That's great. Okay. How am I today? Uh, better than yesterday. So, uh... The day before yesterday, I finally, I finally got my booster shot. I got injected, and well, now uh, yesterday was massive fever, headache, lots of fatigue, and now like I'm better, but I'm still like, uh, I'm hyper now, and I've just I ordered some food earlier, just to kind of celebrate, <clears throat> you know this this milestone, and also. Uh, I've got the soda right here. So I'm feeling better, but I feel like tonight, I feel like tonight it's gonna really hit me again, so I'm getting ready for it. Oh uh, yeah, you got ginger ale, okay, good. Some people don't, oh, okay, so you do have it in the States, all right. Hmm. Uh, thank you, Peter. Yeah, sore arm. That's what it does, unfortunately. <clears throat> like, uh, hopefully it'll work, though. <laughs> oh, is that a challenge? Alright, then. <clears throat> Hello, Blue Snipes Mom. <laughs> this is a live stream, so... I'm, we're keeping up with the chat here. <laughs> hey, Apollo, glad you could make it. Carla, hello, fellow Canadian. Oh, hey, fellow Canadian. Hello. Hello. I hope to realize you were trying. Oh, you're welcome. 
I'm glad I could help. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Hey, coffee, your content has helped me through a hard time. I want to thank you so much. It's nice to hear your voice from the sets and sort of things. You're welcome. And thank you very much for letting me do this as well. And I'm glad I can help. It's almost happy anniversary, coffee mugs. So <clears throat> we're getting ready for that. <coughs> oh, my goodness gracious. <coughs> I'm okay. Blah. Ugh. I'm okay. I choked a little bit on my drink. <sighs> oh my god. <sighs> now, a lot of us call it pop over here, second cup. It's just, I call it soda. It's my own, like, personal thing. Uh, I, I, I don't know. I don't, like, I know... I know it's, like, called pop partially because of all the popping noises. Which, by the way, um... So... I was going to make some AS, uh, just do some ASMR noises, but unfortunately, uh, the binaural microphone isn't working for the stream, so I'll have to do, uh, my own separate, uh, video on that. And while the binaural m microphone is freaking awesome, it's difficult to record with it, because I have to record in my own, because I use Filmora to record all my audios, but for, uh, the binaural mic, I have to use Studio One, and then convert that over to an mp3 file. I'd use Wave, but the more doesn't run on Wave, unfortunately. And then all this other stuff. Uh, well, we don't call it soda, we call it pop. I just call it soda. Hope you're okay, I try not to let the jab keep you down, you legend. You got this. Thank you, Apollo, you're always so sweet. How am I today? Okay, well, I already answered that uh, earlier, so I'll give you guys something new. Uh, let's see. Uh, like I said, a little hyper. It's hopefully going to, um, hopefully going to die down. Or maybe not. I don't think anyone will mind having an energized coffee. Uh, I had to disable tipping for this, uh, live stream because I realized that there was a problem with the tipping. Uh, I don't want to get into it, but there was a lot of problems with the tipping and it requires some stuff that I literally can't provide. And I was messing with it for a while and it was frustrating, but... Uh, so I was a little annoyed earlier, but I've been meaning, I've been meaning to celebrate, uh, the 10k for quite a while. I just, what you guys have probably noticed by now is I'm not a super festive person. A lot of the times, like during December, I didn't make a single Christmas themed audio except the coffee collab. That was really it. Or for Halloween, I don't really make spooky audios. And that's just because like, you know, everyone else does that. And that, that's totally fine. They can go ahead and do that. Just for me, I'm like, well, if everyone else is doing it, I kind of want to do something a little more unique. I don't want to be like everyone else. I, I want to be unique. <laughs> uh, I forget where I was going with this. Oh, right. So when it comes to a celebrating like milestone, don't get wrong, I'm really, really happy about it. But I'm like, I don't know what to do that isn't like super cliche that everyone else has already done. But there's a reason why everyone celebrates. Anyway, sorry. I've been ignoring the comments. I'm not ignoring. I more specifically just have been talking quite a bit. Okay. Yeah, we already saw that. You were playing. You were just playing Horizon Zero Dawn. Hey, Horizon Zero Dawn. Uh, it's been a long time since I played Horizon Zero Dawn. I finished it. Great game, although very very difficult. Uh, yay anniversary. Uh, yeah, actually, um, in two days is the okay. Technically, today is the anniversary of the channel because YouTube emailed me and told me that I apparently created this channel exactly a year ago, but my first upload was on the 16th of January 2021. So I technically qualify the 16th as the real anniversary. Uh, excuse me. You have no idea how many times I have to edit out burp bloopers. Uh, but anyhow, so I guess technically today is the anniversary. I, I made the channel, but it took me a couple days to like find a script because I was too nervous to write one and then to actually perform it and edit it. Ooh. Oh, good times. Uh, okay, what else we got? The other day I realized why I enjoyed your MTM audio so much. It's way too much to get in here, but I just want to say it means more to me than now. Thank you, Rin. I'm, I'm glad you guys liked that. That that was by far the longest audio I'd ever made. I I felt a bit bad that, like, I've been... Because I mainly focus on, like, you know, male and female videos. And I was like, I haven't really made anything for my trans viewers. So to make up for that, rather than just give you guys one video, you get one hour-long one. And... Uh, special knowledge to everyone that's uh, in this stream. 
Uh, it's not going to be, uh, like, as professionally made as, like, actual visual novels, of course, but I'm making a little visual novel, uh, for, uh, befriending the emo kid. Like, I I'm, I'm, I'm making it on Renpai, and I'm probably just gonna make a video showing it off so it'd look like you're watching, like, a walkthrough for, or, like, a playthrough of a video or something. So, because I, I made a bunch of, like, little character sprites and stuff for, like, Aaron and Melinda, I never really got to use them. I was initially going to make it a visual novel, but after recording the whole thing, editing it for over, like, five hours, I was like, okay, all right, I, I, I can't keep doing this. Uh, I, I can't make it right now, but I, I'm working on it. We call it gas drinks. Really? I'll take a sip of my gas drink. <sighs> yeah, I'm, like... The art style is going to unfortunately look kind of amateurish because I've never taken art classes before, but keep an open mind, please. I, I'm doing my best here. Uh, I just wanted to tell you that you make me feel so happy and honestly help me through hard times. You also me discovered that I'm gay. Oh, you're welcome. I'm glad that I can help out. And, <laughs> yeah, uh, listening to ASMR, actually, and audio role plays and stuff was kind of how I discovered my sexuality as well, so it definitely helps. You're writing a fanfic. Well, go ahead. We need a proposal. A proposal? Wait, you mean, like... <laughs> Elaborate. If you're talking about a video where... Oh yeah, I've never proposed to you guys in the video. You've proposed to me, but... Ah. Uh... See, the thing is, I want that to be, like, something that, like, surprises the viewer. Like, pleasantly surprises, because I don't want to put it in the title. Because then you know what's going to happen, and it's not quite as surprising. But at the same time, I don't want to, like, not warn them for people to get caught totally off guard and be like, Whoa, wait, I didn't want that. Anyway, sorry, keep going. Whoa, whoa, I lost where I was in the chat. What's going on? There we go. Okay. I'd like to thank you for acknowledging me when you made your little Yoro emoji video. Just a little rattle falling up. <laughs> yeah, I wanted to... <laughs> You're welcome. I wanted to, uh... Cram in a couple of, uh, references. Oh! So, that was another little surprise. I got some new music for the stream. Let me know if it's a bit too loud. Glad to be here, Coffee. Congratulations on 10k, you absolute king. Definitely well deserved. Made a contest phenomenal. Can't wait to see your content grow. Here's the next 10k. Thank you, Apollo. <sighs> so, I was sort of considering getting drunk for the stream. Not like shit faced, but just like getting a little buzzed. But, <sighs> unfortunately, the only wine I can really tolerate, um, I wasn't able to get. The store where I get it at was completely sold out. So, unfortunately, I wasn't able to get it. And I don't know if, like, getting, like, buzzed is against YouTube policy. Like, because other people have done drunk videos before, so I feel like getting a little bu buzz would be totally fine. But I, I don't trust drunk me. I don't. I, I feel like all someone would have to do is be like, Hey, Coffee, just to make sure it's you, can you send us your social insurance number? I'd be like, you got it! Give me a sec! <laughs> Okay, what else do we got? You are unique, Coffee. <laughs> Thank you. Hashtag not like other ASMRs. You can't see it, but I'm doing a little hand sign. I think most of the East Coast calls it soda, pop. Yeah, I, I, I don't know. I don't know much. Like, mm. I don't know about dialects. Coffee, you're looking for game recommendations, I cannot trust. Amazing how Hollow Knight is. Actually, I haven't played it yet, but it is in my PlayStation library because I uh, got it when I'm free for PlayStation Plush. I've been PlayStation Plush. I've been meaning to try it. I did watch Indie Mouse's entire playthrough of it, so I kind of know what to expect. And yeah, Hollow Knight looks really cool. I'm not a major Souls fan, but I like Dark Souls well enough. Like the Souls like games. I've played and finished uh, Dark Souls 3, Bloodborne, uh, Code Vein. That's a Souls like. Remnant from the Ashes. It's a Souls like. I started the Surge, but I was really bad at it. Um, happy early anniversary. Thank you. Thank you to do a blooper reel. I have done a blooper reel. Uh, they are all on Patreon. Um, I set it so that the... Was it the tip jar? No, if you have the tip jar, which is only a dollar a month, you can view the full line requests, I believe. The bloopers, um, is five dollars Canadian a month, including the access to the NSFW audios as well. Uh, oh. excuse me. But yeah, there are blooper reels. So happy, congrats, Snazzy. Hello, hello. Okay, that must have been around the time I was, uh, excuse me, mentioning the visual novel. Oh man, that'd be chaotic. The drunk video? Excuse me, yeah. Another video I haven't done. Ace listener. Ace listener? I don't actually know what that means. Hold on. Let's get good old Google on this. 
I'm gonna go into incognito mode just in case. Ah, playing card, of course. <laughs> no, uh, a person who excels at a particular sport or activity. Hmm. Strong coffee sounds amazing. I mean... Yeah. Drunk me is just me, but more chaotic. And that is the honest to God truth. I've heard some ASMR people do drink streams before. Okay, so I wouldn't be the only one. Can't be the only one who kind of thinks Buzzcock would be adorable, right? I don't know. I'm kind of scared of him, truthfully. Wrong, not that ace. Well, then elaborate. You fight homophobic kids on Roblox. You keep fighting that fight, then. Cries and broke. Oh, I'm sorry. Vampire coffee latte sundere neko cappuccino sub neko flat white yandere coffee iced tea. Oh, I thought that was just one whole title. Then I realized what you're actually doing. Okay. Vampire coffee, latte, sundry. Actually, actually, you want to know a neat recipe? Uh, one of my friends uh, uh, recommended it to me. It was, uh, so we have Tim Hortons over here in Canada, and they, of course, sell hot chocolate. But there's white hot chocolate, which is like hot chocolate, but marshmallowy. But if you ask them to put a shot of caramel inside of it, oh, it's awesome. Candy cane white hot chocolate with a shot of caramel especially. Oh, yeah. He told me, like, you get that, you're never going back. And he was right. Unfortunately, candy cane is now off-season because Christmas is over. <sighs> okay. That is all of my Canada Dry. So, actually, I do have a story to tell about that <laughs> drunk shenanigans, but give me a second. Uh... Gonna go lurk and listen to some stream, probably play like Division or something. Ooh, which one? Division 2 is personally my favorite, though I do really like the setting of the first one still. Hi, Doom Guy. <laughs> Ace sexual. <laughs> uh, I may become a tattoo artist related to that. If I get a tattoo without problems or anything, what would you get? Uh, oh, if I could get one. Huh. I don't know. Um... For the longest time, uh, tattoos weren't really my thing. Like, I don't mind other people having tattoos, but for me personally, like, when I was a kid, I was scared of stickers getting stuck on me. And now I'm like, or a long time ago, I wasn't really comfortable with getting, like, a tattoo on my body. But over time, I was like, yeah, it sounds kind of cool. So, uh, God, I don't know. Um, it'd probably be some obscure nerdy reference like that, uh, you know, the symbol of the old hunter from Bloodborne, for instance, on my arm or something? That'd be kind of cool. Or, hmm. I don't know, maybe I'd get, like, a like sleeves or something. Maybe. Not sure. Maybe not my whole arm, though. Probably not. Yes, I was scared of having stickers put on me when I was a kid. You all have strange fears. Don't you dare mock mine. <laughs> oh, dude, I don't, I don't doubt that you know somebody that can uh, do tattoos. Second cup. <laughs> Let's see. Can become tattoo. The Google search probably needs incognito less than anything. Say sexual from those experts. Sexual. Ah, understood. Yeah. Okay. So somebody that's like, uh, yeah. Okay, asexual. Um. Yeah. Unfortunately, a lot of my like content, I like writing, like you know, wholesome, feel good romance scripts. So like doing, uh. So doing um, ones that aren't focused on that, I'm just not quite as well versed in. But yeah, I was planning on doing a sexual script at some point. Or just, I, I don't know what i do for that though. It's like, what what could I do that you can't just do with a, like, with a best friend or something? Because it's like, I don't think, if I wanted to do like a platonic audio where it's not like a friends to lovers or anything like that, or you don't talk about like romance or anything, even like concerning, excuse me, other people, that doesn't necessarily have to be like asexual. And I don't want to just sit there and just be like, so listener, let's talk about how asexual you are. Because that just, I don't know, it sounds, it sounds strange. That's one of the most difficult things about writing a script. Because you want to constantly keep everything, you know, moving. And you want to make sure that the script is, like, interesting. And you want it to be comforting. But, of course, you got to make sure everything makes sense. And you're not just constantly repeating yourselves. Ah. Uh, my, my apologies, everyone. Ice caramel macchiato. I know what I'm saying, I promise. 
an outsider's mark. Oh, that's a good idea. Getting the mark of the outsider on your hand. That'd be pretty cool. I would absolutely just crouch in a corner and pretend to, like, use powers and just be like, <laughs> It's a reference to Dishonored. At least I think it is. Like, either one. I don't know if I like the setting of New York or winter better. Put the focus on the one. I think, like, New York in the winter, I personally prefer to Washington in the summer. We're talking about Division. It feels like a lot more of a, like, survival situation. Although, I still think gameplay-wise, Division 2 is definitely better. And when someone recommended Hollow Knight earlier, what I was going to say was, like, yeah, I've been meaning to try out Hollow Knight. It's just, I've been starting my playthrough of Assassin's Creed Valhalla as well as Persona 5. And those two have just consumed me so much so that I, I really wanted to make a Persona-themed audio. Like, I wasn't going to have it um, take place around any of the characters because I don't like role-playing a pretty established character. But I put it, like, in the universe, probably have, like, my own Phantom Thief or something. But I was like, I don't know if a lot of people would get that reference. I did a Cyberpunk one because I wanted to do Cyberpunk, but also because I figured people are going to get Cyberpunk. But Persona's not quite as popular over here. But at the same time, I'm like, I don't know. I kind of just want to do it anyway. Can I make a drawing for you? Sure, go ahead. I literally, I, I opened the Twitter so people could uh, send fan art. So that's, um, that's there if you, uh... Uh, if you make it, you could always uh, email it. The link to my email is in my about page, or tag me on Twitter, and I'll feature it. Go ahead, Beaker. Scared of balloons? Yeah, my sister's scared of balloons. She doesn't like the really loud sound that they make when they pop. Uh, she's very sound sensitive. I'm light sensitive. <laughs> like I can't go with, most of the time in the summer. I can't go outside without sunglasses on. And no, it's not because I'm antisocial people. I've always been like that. <laughs> By antisocial, I mean like I spend too much time inside. Objectively, I kind of do, but I've been working on that. Dust bunnies, yeah. Dust bunnies, uh. Dust bunnies suck. I hate them so much. Yeah, my mom's also scared of crumbs as well. Or more specifically, she really doesn't like them. It's like having crumbs all over the place makes her really uncomfortable. You let go of your balloon at Disney World when you're in your traumatized. Oh no! <laughs> it's your last surprise! Oh yeah, totally. <laughs> Last Surprise is one of my favorite songs. I've got basically that whole thing memorized. I'm at work right now, so I can't say I love your videos. I hope you have a great rest of the day. Thank you, Bago Toast. Good luck at work. Loki is scared of something coming out of your claws and eating me. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. Like, I've outgrown that, but when I was younger, like, absolutely. I didn't know whether to keep my door closed, like, closet door closed or open. Because I was like, what if something's in there and it attacks me? I vetoed to keep it closed, because I'm like, if something does come out, I'll at least hear... The door open first, and I'll give me a few seconds to escape. The tingle crumbs making uh, the tingle crumbs making your mouth, huh? I wouldn't know. What if you did one that was more like a platonic date? I go on those offense all the time. Yeah, maybe. Comfort uh, for being rejected because probably wanted to think, but it's upset that you never want to do it, huh? I see. That actually makes sense, because like, you know. A lot, a lot of people don't consider that, like, not everyone is going to be totally okay with entering a partner. Uh, sorry. Well, I guess technically <laughs> that was very poor wording. I meant to say entering a relationship and doing, like, really deep stuff with your partner. Not everyone's comfortable with that right away. And not every relationship needs to end up being sexual at some point. It could just be people's commitment to one another. Um... I, I, I do have quite a few scripts in mind. I did do a little survey on Patreon asking people if there was any kind of uh, unpopular or even popular uh, character tr or like an audio trend or subject that you've always wanted to hear but isn't done too much. Like, is, has there ever been like a kind of uh, audio that you wish more people did but isn't really done that often something that's even like kind of niche and people gave a lot of suggestions so i'm kind of just working through those right now i'm still doing a few of my own as well but i'm trying to get those done as soon as i can um your favorite singer songwriter oh boy uh i get asked this a lot and <laughs> i always say the same thing i'm like oh gosh uh this is something i could definitely answer in my own time but like as soon as someone asks me i'm like i'm not sure and trigger, hey, hey, don't quote me on that. Do not quote me on that. Okay. Tell you what, I'll just, I'll just flip through my music library. How will that, how will that do? Because 
I don't have any one specific favorite artist, but there are quite a few uh, artists that I listen to quite frequently that I like. Okay, I'm gonna really quickly go 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 through all these. Just I just pronounce that I'm Emily using far reach so I can get out of my damn wheelchair. Yeah. Oh, sorry. I, I didn't realize you were leaving second cup. Bye. Uh, my last buzz. Yeah. Okay. Well, I'll keep the. Here, I'll, I'll write it down. I'll keep the ace idea in mind. It's like comfort for. Okay. Obviously, a lot shorter, but like, like a friend's partner wants to do something, but they aren't comfortable with it, or like aren't ready for it yet, and I'm here to help them out with it. There we go. Thanks, autocorrect. All right. Definitely finish those before Hollow Knight. <laughs> yeah, they are all massive time commitments. <laughs> yeah, um, a long time ago, I did my own little fan art for, uh, if I was a phantom thief in, in Persona, what I would look like. My code name was Squire. Uh, my Persona, I think, was uh, Lancelot. Or was it... Or was it Gay One? I don't remember. One of the knights. I, I debated between either having, like, a mercenary appearance... Because I wanted to be like a wandering adventurer type thing. Or like a samurai. That, that'd be cool too. And like the all out attack would have you doing like that, you know, sheath your sword to cause damage trope. Although Yusuke's already got that covered, so. Eh. Alright. Anyway. Fan art getting the drunk supply. Sure, go ahead. Trevor, you will get your wings. Uh, right, yeah. I. Yeah, I've heard that before that people have done like uh, angel listener audios before. Oh, gosh. Um. Maybe. Lane's not sensitive. Mm. Oh, sorry. Goodbye, classy, classy Barbie. All right, I gotta catch up with. I gotta catch up with these. Uh, with the chat, I'm way behind. Hello. Hey, what's up? Uh, celebrating the anniversary. Can't go without the sunglasses. Does he have to be sunny? Just brave my heart for something like more of the story. Yeah. But dude, isn't it like always raining where you are? <laughs> sorry, I had to. <laughs> you sure couldn't do it. You probably thank you. Okay. Uh, sorry. Nice save. Thank you. Morning. Okay. Yeah, I get migraines in the morning as well. I've just had to start... I've, I've, I don't wear a sleep mask. I usually just put a pillow over top of my face to help me sleep. Sometimes it makes my face itchy, but, you know, it... It is what it is. Rarely see a Neko listener. Yeah, I've been... I've been meaning to do a Neko listener audio for a while. Uh... See, the thing is... Um... I sort of wanted to do... That, uh... <laughs> okay, Apollo, you can make one back at me. Go ahead. You can make a Canadian joke back at me. I, 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 I deserve it. Um, back when I did the werewolf listener uh, audio, I thought it'd be kind of cute if I was uh, talking to listeners if they were a dog. They weren't a dog. Let me make that very clear. I got accused of supporting bestiality, which no, I was not. The listener was obviously a werewolf that was capable of giving consent and communication. Jeez. But anyhow, and the problem, though, was a lot, of, like, because of that, if I made a Neckle listener audio, I don't think I'd talk to them like they were a cat. I'd probably just talk to them like a normal person. Um, but I'm like, oh, but that kind of ruins the point of making them a Neckle. I'm just going to talk to them like a normal person. But I'm like, at the same time, I don't know. I can just, I can talk to them like a, uh, like they're, like an ordinary person that happens to have cat ears and a tail. And what the heck happened? Uh, we lost our banner, guys. Uh, guys? What's going on? Hey, I don't know. Oh, uh, what's going on? Stare into the abyss. The abyss will stare back. Hold on, if I close this. I'm a little scared. What's gonna happen? Whoa! 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 What's going on? Oh, I see the problem. Hold on, guys. I got this. I do not know what is happening. Why is that popping up on this screen? <sighs> okay. Well, this is one heck of an inception. Alright. Don't worry, everyone. I will fix this. 
Well, welcome back to the abyss. Aha! We fixed it. Okay, that was weird. <laughs> yeah, I'm using OBS. Ah, <laughs> oh, okay. My apologies for that. Alright, before we go any further, everyone, I'm gonna really quickly... I'm gonna really quickly read out my audio library because I was gonna do that. Alright, what do we got here? Uh, so we got uh, Karma by Jubiphonic. Yes, I recently discovered Karma. Pretty awesome. Never Fade Away, the samurai cover uh, from Cyberpunk. Oh, yes. An Unhealthy Obsession from the Blake Robinson Synthetic Orchestra. I wanted uh, to do an uh, or like a, a karaoke where uh, Yandere Coffee sings that. <laughs> uh, Bad Apple by Liz Robinette. Um, London Bridge is Falling Down. Or specifically the uh, Desired? Desired lyrics? I don't know. The spooky version. It's like a very... Here, hold on. I'm going to play it very quickly because I don't want to like get uh, copyrighted. All right. Bye, Kiki. Here. You guys ever heard the creepy version? Uh, Alright, this is going to be quick to avoid audio, uh, copyright. This one. That one. Alright, YouTube's already on to me. I'm going to move now. <laughs> yeah. Um, Hated by Life Itself by Octavia. Yes, also a personal favorite of mine. Uh, Legends Fall by JT Music. Silent Scream, Anna Blue. Collective Consciousness from Metal Gear Rising Revengeance, oh boy. Monster by Kira. Um, a singer I'd rather not disclose. And yeah. Oh, and of course some video game music. Like, um, uh, Whirling in Rags from Disco Elysium. I listen to that sometimes when I'm writing a script. Freaking awesome. Oh, it's even better than Listener Can't Talk. Wait, maybe like a mute listener would be kind of interesting. Like one that actually quite legitimately cannot, uh, cannot speak. That'd be kind of cool. I wonder what I could say for that, though. You're gonna go see a movie with a friend. All right, sorry, Traveler. I, I think you left for a long time, but, uh, a long time ago. Bye-bye! Okay. Offended Englishman noises. Yes, I'm sorry. Actually, no, it's actually been really bright this morning. Okay. Uh, yeah. Okay. All right. All right. All right. You guys have heard that one. Nice. Can you talk French? I can't talk French. I took French for seven years and I still can't. It's 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 embarrassing. I know like a few basic French words, like parler, for instance, or like parlez-vous français. But like, ugh. I, w I wish I could speak another language, but I can't. Kiki, no. Okay, silent scream. Yeah. Oh my goodness. I was waiting for the bus, and it was apparently in my, like, recommended shuffle playlist, and it played. And I was like, wow! What a relatable song! <laughs> I'm gonna try not to cry now. Oh, well, god damn it, I have fallen for it, and now I have to. Canadian joke. Maple syrup, eh? That is all. <laughs> yes, of course. Whenever I ask people to make Canadian stereotypes, that is the first one they go for, but honestly, cannot blame them. If you need me a listener script, can I find one? I was going to, uh... I mean, I was going to write it myself, to be honest. I try not to use other people's scripts just because it feels a little a little lazy to use a script that somebody else wrote, and... I... I don't really like when I, like, when I get those comments from people saying, like, either, you know, you copied this from someone else, or just, like, oh, I recognize the script, someone else did it, because I'm like, ah, oh, dang it. It must... Because it's a little immersion-breaking when you hear a script that, like, someone else has already done saying the same thing. Just in a different voice. I'm like, ah, uh, that must have been really distracting. So I try not to use them. I only use, like, other people's scripts when I'm like, I really can't write anything this week. I can't be bothered. Uh, reminds me of the time streaming and had background noise. It's currently copyrighted. Ah, oh, apparently background noise is copyrighted. You would make a killing if you could uh, copyright background noise. That gives me an idea. People think Canadians live in igloos. Yes! People do think that. As far as I know, this, uh, this table's made of wood. It is not made of snow. Whoa! Whoa! 
Someone did a Ko-Fi Ko Kofi do donation. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I really appreciate that. <laughs> uh, thank you. Ah, what, 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 what was I talking about? Oh, yeah. Igloos. We don't live in igloos. You're Canadian, you don't like maple syrup? Yeah, it's not for everyone. It's like you live in the general area. That doesn't necessarily mean you're going to like the food there. I want to head out and listen to some Dream Deja Vu. I'm like, I'm like, All right. See you later, some random guy on the internet. Today, someone asked about getting $500 million on drinking a resident Canadian ice and having to with maple syrup. Something like that. Maple syrup. <laughs> I mean, maybe. I don't know. Uh, oh, right. Yeah, to all of the non Canadians here. Uh, yeah, our money isn't made of paper. It's like a very flexible plastic, kind of. It makes sense, I promise you. It doesn't smell exactly like maple syrup. It sort of does, but like very vaguely. Uh. <laughs> In French, you ask if you English people say croissant. <laughs> what, the way that we say croissant? Or the way that English people say croissant? Or croissant? And people think I'm living in a shack in the desert. Stereotypes are stereotypes. <laughs> you pronounce words like a damn pirate. <laughs> yeah. You know, that actually, that kind of reminds me. So, cr croissant. Croissant. So, um, if anyone is curious... The current plans that I have for script writing right now, so I was considering that, uh, that Persona's themed script. Not 100% sure if I'm going to go with that. Um, some of the safe-for-work ones that were requested on Patreon was, uh, a sensory overload ASMR, which I am planning. It was going to be, like, just, uh, I'm planning on just making, like, a soft ASMR, like, actual voices, where I take some objects, maybe, like, you know, Whisper very quietly against the microphone, except it's with a binaural microphone, not with uh, this one. And maybe, like, do some things like phone tapping. I've got some, uh, I was planning on, like, opening a soda can and holding it up to the microphone so you can hear, like, little bubbles uh, fizzing. And for all just to be very soft and, you know, no real, like, loud noises, because, um, I don't know about you guys, whenever I'm on, like, sensory overload... Sometimes I try to listen to, like, uh, ASMR, but hearing people talk normally is too much. So it's, I just, I just listen to, like, those no-talking ASMRs. It's really nice. Uh, anyhow, so that aside, uh, another one that was requested was something like, uh, you're wounded in battle and, uh, a warrior heals you. Maybe, like, to, uh, fellow warriors. I thought one thing that'd be kind of interesting, I don't know how i do it, though... Would be, oh, you're still here, Kiki. All right, you're going to actually, I don't know. All right. Bye. You're doing well, mate. Are you good? I'm your laddie. <laughs> Casually drawing coffee cup in the back of your homework. Sure, go ahead. <laughs> Do you like the Godzilla movies? I'm, apologies, I have not seen them. I'm not really a movie watcher. I don't dislike movies. I just don't really watch them in my own time. Anyway. Um, one concept that I thought would be, uh, interesting is, like, I've always kind of dabbled in the idea of an enemies to lovers script, but, like, or not enemies to lovers, enemies to friends. Enemies to lovers is a bit too quick. But maybe, like, in the idea that, like, uh, you're wounded and you maybe, like, you're kind of crawling around on a battlefield or something, you come to, like, a safe place, but there's, like, someone from the enemy side as well also there, but you both kind of come to mutual agreement where it's, like, you're both in a really bad spot and you really don't want to fight, and that's kind of like, you know, a very, like, trust situation. Like, I don't know how many of you have played, like, Battlefield 1. But you know that, like, opening when you see, like, you're, you you have to play as all those characters and you're all, like, fighting on the front lines. And the cutscene ends with, like, those two enemy soldiers, like, facing each other but then slowly lowering their weapons because they're just honestly glad to be alive. That's definitely, like, um, that's definitely something I wanted to emulate. I thought that was, like, a really touching moment. You wish you had the money for Patreon? It's okay. It's okay. The, the, the fact that you at least want to is still like, uh, you know, that still means quite a lot. What movie do you like? Okay. Very underrated movie, Treasure Planet. Mmm. Masterful. Definitely deserve a lot more credit. Lord of the Rings is also, also a huge winner. Can I do a cute blush boy noise? Oh boy, uh, 
What does a what does a blush sound like? Uh, I, I don't know. Yeah, I can't exactly ignore that. <laughs> uh. Yes, I would recommend uh, Treasure Planet. All right, all right, all right. Yes, absolutely. The uh, the song uh, "I'm Still Here" is definitely one of my favorites. Yeah. Okay. B Blue Snipe. What? What's What's going on there? What is going on there? You all right? You got a nasty cut on your neck. Jeez. You are still alive though, right? Well, I I should hope you're still alive. Jeez, dude. Hope you make it through that. I gotta keep going with this, but like, seriously, stay safe. Jeez, that is it's scary. Like infinite respect for your French Canadians and French Canadians. You guys are all legends. Oh, thank you. Uh, to be honest, we we quite respect the British as well. We really do. I've actually I've always wanted to visit London. I'm not a huge traveler, but like Scotland as well as like I've always wanted to go to just Scotland. No place in particular. I just want to be there. Ireland as well. Uh, London, specifically in London, England, it looks so incredible. Like, I've walked around it quite a lot in Watch Dogs Legion, but that's not quite the same. Uh, yeah, I hope you feel better. Um, I'd also really like to go to Japan or Russia, but I can't, I don't speak, like, Japanese or Russian, so I would just be bumbling around, not knowing what to do. So, eh, a little, a little scared. Favorite anime if I watch any? Yes, I do, uh... Not very often, but of course, um, the Danganronpa anime was one of my favorites. A lot of people didn't like it. I liked it. <laughs> I'm not the first to follow. Um, I, I liked the, anyway, I liked the first Danganronpa anime. The third one, I didn't like. It was, because, um, it, it was cool lore-wise. I unfortunately watched it before I played, uh, 2, so it was kind of a huge spoiler. I'm not gonna spoil anything, but huge spoiler, accidentally. Um, other animes. I used to like Sword Art Online, but not so much anymore. I'm not really a fan of, like, overpowered characters, unfortunately. Uh, I liked watching Kill a Kill as well. It's very well animated and freaking hilarious. Uh, Assassination Classroom is also one of my favorites as well. I'm not making a bumbling tourist visit to Japan ASMR. <laughs> I would die of embarrassment. I'm glad most- I'm glad a lot of you know about Treasure Planet. Hello, Dino Plushy. I'm sorry I didn't acknowledge you uh, sooner. Hello. Oh, I didn't make the blush noise! I'm sorry. Does blush make a noise? I, I no, it, I guess it doesn't, but when I pretend to do blushes, I guess. Um, okay. I'd actually like... I'd actually like you guys' opinion on something. When it comes to... Um, what would you prefer for, like, a Friends to Lovers type script? Would you prefer, like, a shy guy that really lacks confidence? Would you prefer a more confident guy and that you're the shy one instead? Or kind of something like the beach date, where it's somebody who actually definitely lacks confidence, you can hear that in his inner thoughts, but is putting on this front of, no, I know what I'm doing. Because if it was, like, full-on shy, I'd be like, oh gosh, um, I gotta, <laughs> okay, let me think. What? It's been a while since I've done a shy audio. It would be like, um, oh, um, thank you, uh, <laughs> thanks, kind of thing, from, like, a compliment. Uh, I think you're really sweet, too. Or like a more confident one, like, uh... <laughs> Thanks. You didn't have to say that, though. But thank you. <laughs> uh, you know what? I guess everyone has, uh, their own personal preferences. Shy guy for sure. Alright, then. Oh, welcome to the stream, Layla Song Covers. Uh, I don't know, I don't know if I said hi to you earlier. Hello. Do you, have you ever played Project Diva? I have not. My apologies. For some reason, I found every ASMR that takes place in the library with the library intends to suicide. But yes! That's actually kind of a niche of mine. It's... I, I really like the kind of, like, knowledgeable and, like, sophisticated kind of uh, ASMRs. And especially in the library, it's usually, like, really quiet. But, like, usually those people... Like, okay. Um, like, imagine rave, but a lot less socially awkward. Like... I'll just read out some comments in this voice, why not? Because you know how Rave's just kind of like, Johnny Static, howdy coffee mug, I'm so happy to hear that you hit 10k, keep it up. Oh, uh, thank you very much, Johnny Static. It brings me great joy to hear such supportive words from someone. Yes, that is a massive amount of S's. It must be uh, done with the purpose of accentuating just how yes they are. 
fascination class you made me cry yeah <laughs> yeah we we don't talk about that ending i don't cry manly tears i swear you want to go to japan so bad yeah i'd like to as well i have heard from people before it's impossible to have a bad meal in japan and yeah like they're they know what they are doing with their food over there i hate that i'm a picky eater but it looks incredible which character is your favorite uh from oh from danganronpa um my favorite character from the first one uh Jihiro Fujisaki, underrated character in my opinion. Um, well, I, I can't spoil anything, but that one incident involving Chihiro, uh, if you played the game, you know the one. Oh, it never fails to make me cry and to choke me up. Kirigiri, also one of my favorites. Nayagi, also love Nayagi quite a bit as well. Um, from the second one, uh, Sonya Nevermind was actually one of my favorites, believe it or not. Fuyuhiko, I hated him in the beginning, and then I really liked him uh, at the end. I unpopular opinion i actually don't like nagito if you like nagito that is perfectly fine i can see why other people love nagito i i just wasn't a fan of him personally but i can totally see why other people love uh nagito and from three um oh boy so shuichi was actually one of my favorites oh forgot to mention uh mechamaru slash mechamaru i also love mechamaru from uh, the second one he was awesome i always love like the really loud characters like gamagori from kill a kill for instance is also one of my favorites um, and Peko as well. Okay, but now we're from the third one. Uh, so yeah, Shuichi was one of my favorites. Maki was also one of my favorites. Um, Ryoma. I liked Ryoma a lot as well. And Kibo. Okay. Uh, <laughs> yeah, sure, Apollo. If I ever end up in London, I'll let you know. Shy air representation. Okay, sorry, I, I, need, I need to go back. Okay, I asked everyone earlier what they would prefer. Mixed with pigeon guy. <laughs> oh, like the, um, uh, nothing. I, I need to go to the bathroom because I forgot my pigeons. Yeah, I can't take credit for that line. I didn't write it, but that was, that was definitely one of the most iconic things I've said. And I didn't even, I didn't even write it. Oh, the beach date. Yay. Shy boy is cute. Okay, so you like the shy ones. All right. Confident mostly because I'm shy as heck. All right. The blush noise like the noise you make when you're embarrassed. Wh what? <laughs> what do you mean when I'm embarrassed? How? Oh. Has someone seen me when I'm embarrassed already? Uh, anyway. Uh, it's okay. Hi there. Oh, hello. Uh, how's it, how's it going? You, oh, you're gonna be dis disassembling a computer. Well, good luck with that. I don't know much about disassembling computers, but I wish you luck on that. Hey, you're caught, right? I'm Lucas, my boyfriend. I wanted to say helping him through his suicide was about to come back. Thanks, mate. Luke. Oh, <laughs> nice to meet you, Luke. You're welcome. I'm glad I could help. And <laughs> good to see that you're also part of the stream as well. <laughs> so I guess Blue Snipes mentioned me once or twice. Yeah, all right. Yeah, Blue Snipes has been great to have around here. All the coffee mugs are very iconic in their own way. I don't suppose you know about the, uh, about the cult. <laughs> I'm, I'm sure you've heard. What's happening? Hello, literal lamb. Well, right now we're just reminiscing about old times. Oh, and we're trying to decide whether we prefer, uh... Whether we prefer a more confident guy, a more shy one, or maybe something in between. Um, has someone from your real life ever found your content and asked you about it? <laughs> yes! Yes, someone has! Now, okay. <laughs> it's happened a few times. Um, one of my good friends ended up joining midstream and donated. They were super cool about it. Another uh, one of my friends ended up just having one of their videos recommended to me. And one of them found me on Patreon. <laughs> that took a little explaining. Like, I, I owned it. I was like, yeah, I know what I make on Patreon. But yeah, I was discovered through Patreon. And, um, perhaps, uh, oh, you have to go? All right. Goodbye. Sorry, your name's a little hard to pronounce. Goodbye, Sunder, Serona Pax. Android packs, turn on packs. Goodbye, packs. You have to go now. Bye. Just how, just how yes they are. <laughs> okay. Anyhow, rip. Yeah. Dude, how I switched so fast. Love your channel. I've been pickled for a few days. I've been kind of binge watching the videos all over again. <laughs> Thank you, Purple Moon. Work for a clothing boutique making cult robes. Oh. Cool. Uh. Don't get me wrong. The clothing boutique sounds really awesome. I'm just a little concerned as to how the uh, how the cult robes are gonna turn out. <laughs> What have I done? 
I'm sorry to miss start uploading audio roleplay as more content. Oh, really? Like on YouTube or? Oh, that's cool. I'm I'm really happy I've inspired people. Currently watching Coffee Muggy eating green tea Kit Kats. Ooh, yes. I'm not the biggest fan of tea, but I'm learning to like it. And green tea Kit Kats are super calming. Bumbling to arrest. <laughs> uh, uh, <laughs> I don't know. I, I'm very, very bad at doing a bumbling tourist. Hello, K Lovelace. Uh, glad you can make it to the stream. Oh, sorry. Hello, K Lovelace. <laughs> yes, YouTube. <laughs> All right, that's cool. I'm glad I can inspire. Your voice is so relaxing. I'd like to listen uh, to it while I play a video game, draw, or anime. Oh, thank you. Can I mention me? <laughs> I'm glad I can make uh, Louis Snipes' entire day just by mentioning him. <laughs> Alrighty, did you steal? <laughs> Coffee is inspiration. Oh, ah, I'm an inspiration for people. Uh, that's a little scary, but that's very humbling as well. <laughs> the little face. Okay. Um, oh, that actually reminds me. So, uh, earlier we were doing that little uh, shy. Boy oh, right, we were doing the shy boy impression, and then I was kind of doing that impression of Rave. What was I? Yeah, I was talking earlier about how um, I I go to libraries quite frequently, and I go there to study, and of course watch others converse. It is quite difficult for me to come up with lines for Rave since a lot of his dialogue is obviously scripted since he has a very large vocabulary that is quite difficult to articulate on the spot. But nevertheless, it is very nice to have some dignified speakers as well. Like for instance, I don't I do not know how many of you have been around since the very beginning of the fruition of this channel. But a long time ago, there was an audio known as your faithful butler because coffee went through a refined butler phase. And that was kind of more of a, hello, and welcome. Now, I don't think I would do that for a library. It seems a little too regal for a, uh, um, for a library. So maybe instead of library, be like, I kind of like the idea of the bumbling librarian, someone who's like really passionate about what they, what they do, but also, um, you know, a little, little socially awkward, but like adorably like, oh, Hello! Well, welcome to the library. Um, was there a specific book that you were looking for? Uh, you're sitting here as if I didn't just fall asleep to Coffee Mug's audio last night. <laughs> you know, a fun, funny story about that, actually. Um, I don't know how many of you are on Patreon, but the audio I just released there was the very first audio that actually put me to sleep. Like, I was editing it, and <laughs> my own voice put me to sleep. I don't know how I felt about that, but I was just editing, and I was like, oh, oh no, I'm nodding off, but I... I have to finish this. And then like an hour later, not an hour later, it was like five minutes. I was like, no, I had to actually step away from the computer and went, all right, the project will still be here when I wake up, go to bed. You're doing a commission for a friend since she's getting married and wants to make her a dress. We can't decide between a line or a ball gown. Oh, I, I don't know anything about dresses, unfortunately, so I can't offer any advice. Sorry. That's really exciting though. Initially shy guy who starts being gradually more talkative would be very cute. Yeah, that's nice. Somebody who's like very, you know, very shy at the very beginning, but over time gets a bit more, a bit more confident as uh, they grow more comfortable with you. That's really neat. Refined butler phase. Yes, the refined butler uh, phase. I did not want to call the listener because that'd be very embarrassing. No, I didn't want to call the listener master because I feel like that's a little bit overdone, but... For the, uh, male listeners, I would say, I think, my lord? Yes. Good evening, my lord. May I come in? And for the female listeners, it was, good afternoon, my lady. May I come in? At some point, I may create a short audio just showing the differences between the two versions. Because I kind of wanted to make a video for a while just showing the subtle differences I put between both versions of the script. Because I... Imagine most of you only listen to the version of the script that's, you know, intended for whichever gender you feel most comfortable identifying as. I know there's a few of you uh, rebellious people who like to just mix and match between some of them. Sometimes you go male, sometimes you go female, because you're like, I'll go with whichever one I'm feeling. <laughs> I am not quite as blessed. I unfortunately can only stick with one half of the spectrum. But point being, um, to those of you who only stick with one half, uh, I wanted to make kind of a video just showing the little differences. Because... There's some little details that, yes, I'm proud of. I'm going to toot my own horn. Do you have the coffees meet and talk about their listeners would be cute? 
Uh, Julia, did you ever see Christmas at the Euro Mug by any chance, which I posted on Christmas? Because that's exactly what it was. I took my most iconic characters and they all spoke together about uh, various different stuff, including their significant others at some point. <laughs> Let's go, Purple Moon. Wait, what did, what, what did, what did Purple Moon say? Oh, never mind. That's too much scrolling. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I I think it partially had to do with the fact that I was exhausted, but yeah, my own really deep voice for that particular audio most certainly helped. <laughs> the power just went out. Oh, whoa, the power went out. Jeez. Ugh. I'm glad that... <sighs> uh, I hope you're okay. <laughs> gender flu collected every infinity stone of gender. No, you can't have mine. I want it. I want to keep it. <laughs> Oh, it's fun to stream insomnia. Okay. Aw. Oh, that's very sweet of you. That audio with all my heart. Uh, wait, which one? The Euro mug? <laughs> Anyhow. So, a uh, little fun fact, for instance. Um, I don't know how many of you have watched uh, What's Left of Me. But, uh, during What's Left of Me, um... I think it was in part three, there's a bit where you walk home together in the rain and then uh, you read a hop in the shower. And for the uh, male version, um, uh, the speaker or the, the, the vampire, your boyfriend, whatever, uh, your boyfriend says, uh, grab a change of clothes for us, then I'll get the water running because you're both guys. So you both wear similar clothing. But for the male for female version, he says, grab a change of clothes for yourself. Because male clothing, female clothing is different. Same with when they're actually in the shower. Um, again, because men's uh, shower products and women's shower products are different. For the male version, he'll say, like, can I wash you? I'll use uh, our favorite soap. Meanwhile, for the female version, he says, I'll use your favorite soap. Uh, just like little changes in the dialogue. And it probably goes without saying that the Patreon stuff is also different. Depending on which gender you're listening to. Um... I'm trying to think of some other examples. Obviously, the pronouns are different. You know, for male ones, uh, he. For female ones, she. For the non-binary ones, they. Uh, and for the befriending the emo kid, um, the pronouns are slightly different depending on which audio you listen to. But other than that, they're still, like, basically the same. Anyhow. I like, I, I, I like explaining the creation process behind my stuff. Okay, so. <laughs> hello, my fellow Canadian. Oh, hello. I don't know if that was addressed to me. I'm insomniac and really sucks unless the lights sleep are huge now. Yeah, I am also a light sleeper. If somebody so much just breathes while I'm asleep, it will wake me up. <laughs> Do a pun. Uh, oh boy. Uh, the very first thing I thought of was knife puns, which is probably not preferable. Oh boy. Um. Hmm. You usually make up puns really easy. They have to come naturally. Well, I'll, I'll try thinking of some as I as I am speaking. Let's see. One time the power went out in the middle of an Undertale stream like 2019 continued to try to entertain zero people watching. Very, very proud of that stream. That's the spirit. When everybody just vanishes, you have the power to just keep entertaining people. Is the music still going? Yeah, it's still going. Anyway. Um, okay, so what else have we got? I remember earlier I was talking about the... Oh, right. I was talking about the audios I had in mind. When I was talking about the... Uh... Another one of the requested ones, which was a loyal uh, warrior heals you. Maybe I won't do, like, um, maybe I won't do enemies to friends. Maybe I'll just do, like, a regular one. I was considering doing that one with a uh, British accent, but uh, with all due respect to the actual British people in the chat. Because I think, not gonna lie, I think the southern accent for uh, night running was all right it wasn't perfect but it was all right but my british accent i'm not too confident about but i wanted to try doing one you know what i've actually always wanted to try uh and balo if we ever uh collab again uh this one's actually kind of directed at you you know what i thought would be kind of interesting if I, uh we do a collab with somebody with two people with like vastly different accents i've seen some people do this before but they do each other's accents like i remember seeing somebody who was french and someone who was uh russian doing a collab together and the russian put on a french accent and the french person put on a russian accent it was really entertaining <laughs> yes british coffee i i've been 
Honestly, if I ever need to, like, refine my British accent, quote-unquote, I just play Watch Dogs Legion, because I'm like, boom. <laughs> yes, uh, I remember, uh, fun fact to everybody who has not watched, um, Befriending the Emo Kid, uh, Second Cup ASMR and, uh, Apollo ASMR helped me out with that. Uh, Second Cup played as, uh, Melinda. That was pretty awesome, because I remember I, I messaged Second Cup, and I was like, hey, I'm making this really long stream, uh really long like audio i uh would you like to voice a character for her? and she was like yeah sure who am i voicing i'm like okay i kind of need you to voice a bitchy character and she was like i'll do it and it worked melinda was so hateable and yeah apollo was the fluster businessman but apollo being um so ahead of the game sent me three different versions of like the fluster business dude and i just went with the standard version in the end but you put on uh, an american accent and i was like whoa wow it Sounds, like, perfect, honestly. So, you can definitely do an American accent, totally fine, but for me, I'm like... So, I've been told I sound like someone named Tracer from Overwatch. I don't even know what Overwatch is. Oh, uh, Overwatch is a video game, a very popular uh, first-person shooter uh, PvP video game. And Tracer is a British chick. <laughs> Sorry, that's a line from, uh... <laughs> that's a line from the Scout versus Tracer rep. Knucklehead hit the bricks, I'm not into British chicks. <laughs> but yeah, um... I do an impression of her, but I can't because she is female, and I can't. Oh, sorry. Uh, what's going on? What was the full pickup line from Befriending the Emo Kid? Uh, you mean the one that got cut off? Well, there were all the really bad pickup lines that were intentionally bad. Um, the pickup line that he was going to say wasn't actually a pickup line. He was actually going... He, here, you know what? Where's the script? I'll do it right now. But if Melinda didn't pop in... You have a solid first accent, you can't do a southern one at all. Despite living country province in Canada. Huh. Um, let's see. Friend the emo kid right after I went to Red Hood's Oh, wait! That reminds me! That reminds me! Hold on! <laughs> I inspired you to dye your hair red! Awesome! But you can't see it. But. This right here is a box of red hair dye. I actually got some. <laughs> I was planning on dyeing my hair red once I get a haircut. Um, unfortunately, um, the place, uh, I, I've only moved into this, uh, city a couple of months ago, and turns out the place where I thought I could get my hair dyed, uh, doesn't do it. So I'm like, should I try doing it myself? I've never dyed my own hair. I've had other people dye my hair before. I got it dyed black twice when I was going through my emo coffee phase. <laughs> uh, I was also cosplaying as a Joker from Persona 5 for Fan Expo in Toronto 2018, I believe it was. But, anyway, so I'm planning on getting it dyed soon. But yeah, it looks red, and now it looks awesome. Nice! What do you call two octopi? It looks exactly the same. Identical. <laughs> Identical. What's left to me is my period this morning, mate. Thank you! Funny name! Totally down for that. Alright! Accents video. Oh, gosh. Oh, she's not going to watch my audience. Hey, TF2 as well. <laughs> uh, unfortunately, I'm not, like, um... I'm not a massive fan of TF2. I like it well enough. Um, but if you must know, Medic is my favorite character right right next to Demo Man. Actually, no. Character-wise, Medic. But gameplay-wise, Heavy. I like Heavy. I, I like all the characters. Uh, what program do you use to record your audio, if I may ask? You may not ask. No, you can ask. Uh, I use uh, Wondershare from Laura X to do all my recording. But um, Audacity works just as well. Um, and for my binaural, uh, audio, I use, uh, Studio One, but that one requires my actual binaural mic. Script pickup lines. Right. Uh, emo goth phase, you mean your lifestyle. <laughs> <laughs> I may not look like an emo goth, but I'm very much an emo. In, in the most wholesome way possible. I'm a friendly emo. I'd like to think I am. Um, okay, where is it? I still have all of my scripts. <laughs> Medic London, yes. <laughs> uh, you gave me. What? How, how do I say that? Muffy you? Muffu you? Muffy? Uh, huge question. Why are you sure an amazing person? What? Why are you such an amazing person? I. Mm. Uh, thank you. I, I do appreciate that. It's just. Uh, um. <laughs> Y'all are aware of, uh... <laughs> Y'all are aware of self-loathing, right? That's a thing I unfortunately suffer from quite a lot, so... 
I put up a... Uh, I, th this persona. Not this persona. Not this persona. This job. Because it kind of is a job now. It's kind of my way of reminding myself that maybe I'm not such a terrible person. So it's nice to hear people say things like that. So thank you. Thank you. Also, as you probably figured out by now, I suck at taking compliments. <laughs> uh, what's a Cockney accent sound like? Oh, sorry. I was supposed to read out... Uh, sorry. What do we got? Um, The morning after, patching each other up. I'm your wingman. Befriending the emo boy. Here we go. Uh, yes. Yes. Inferiority complex. I get that. That feeling like no matter what you do, someone else is always doing it better, or like you'll never properly live up to expectations. Oh my goodness gracious. Yeah. I'm glad I'm not the only one, at least. I'm glad I can help out with that. Uh, I, I know, 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 I know. Uh, this is, I, I have been described. My friends have described. They described me as two people inside of one head that both really hate each other. <laughs> uh, okay. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna just read out the line before I get super sappy. Th thank you, everyone, though, genuinely. Okay. Uh, what do we got? Uh, do, 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 do. Here we go. Okay. So I found it. So the line that they were talking about in question was... Um... Uh... Here we go. I'm glad you deserve a little treat. Or maybe not, because... Oh. <laughs> Never mind, actually. No, you really don't want to hear it. I was about to lapse into a cheesy one-liner. You're gonna gag if I say it. You really want to hear it. <laughs> okay. Without thinking I was gonna say, maybe you don't need that Sunday because you're plenty sweet as it is. <laughs> See? Oh my god, that was so bad. Eh, I dabble in shitty one-linerology. Want to hear another one? Pick a category. Cheesy romancing. Okay, ahem. Did I forget all my stuff at home? Of course not, because I don't even know I have me right here with me. Ha, that's a little sweet and very practical. How about another one? Pick up lines, eh? Hey, baby. You freeze night because I don't have any money. <laughs> um, And then, oh, this is uh, Aaron from Befriending the Emo Kid. Um, And yeah, then there's a line where Melinda cuts it off, which was uh, one more. Well, there's one I never told anyone else because it's a bit controversial. Sure you want to hear it? Alright. It's kind of noisy in here, isn't it? I need to whisper this one, so I should probably get closer. I should also probably turn the music down a little bit. There we go. Alright. Can you give me your hand? Wheeze. <laughs> yeah, I need to hold your hand for it. It's um part of the joke. <clears throat> Are you taken? Because... I think you're really cute, and I kind of like you, and I was wondering if maybe we could go out together sometime. That's what I was going to be, but then Melinda was all like, all right, everyone, gather round. We're going to pick the two lucky contestants for seven minutes in heaven. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's okay. It's okay. Uh, Luke, was it? Sorry. It's okay. You just know of me. Well, I, 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 I am me. I do voice acting. Oh, thank you, Ren. <laughs> thank you. A Spanish attack after hearing that? Oh, no! I gave you a Spanish attack! <laughs> it's too sweet. <laughs> okay. I was like, sure. <laughs> wow, that's quite the reaction. <gasps> oh, nice. Thanks. Thanks. Okay. Um... So actually, uh, while I was talking earlier about little details, thank you, Layla. While I was talking earlier about little details and such from uh, all the other audios, there's actually, I'll talk about a few other ones that you may or may not have missed. So for one, um, when me and uh, Second Cup did our collab for, or the mashup collab for uh, Neko Prom, uh, where she was the Sundere Neko and I was the Shy Neko. Uh, we switched it around. Uh, oh, wait, hold on. I'm going to disappear my friend. Okay. Goodbye, Apollo. Have a blessed night. <laughs> Thank you for joining the stream. 
So, um, anyway. In, in the original Necroprom, uh, there was a creepy character named Linus who kept showing up and screwing everything up. And for that, uh... For that, uh, one that I did with Second Cup, we changed it to, uh, we changed Linus to a girl instead, and we named her Melinda. We just came up with the first name that we could think of, so my apologies to anyone in the comments that is actually named Melinda, no ill will against you. We just, we just decided to name the mean character Melinda. Same with Linus as well. Whenever I, like, actually name drop characters, I try to think of names that sound normal, but are kind of uncommon. And I always fail, every time. Every single time I name drop, someone in the comments is always like, Oh my gosh, that's my name! And I'm like, mission failed, we'll get him next time. But anyhow. So, Melinda was in that Neko prom, and then, um, in the Emo Kid, uh, that's actually the same character. It's the same, uh, Melinda. 4.44am, I'm gonna pass that. Alright, thank you for tuning in, Purple Moon. So, anyway, those are the same characters. Then, uh, Aaron actually happens to mention that, um, they're going to a place called Yarrow Mug, um, which is kind of a universal restaurant among a lot of my audios, but also, uh, what was the exact line? Uh, Aaron happens to mention that one of his friends was supposed to have a date there, but he ended up getting, uh, the person canceled at the last second over text, which is actually a reference to hanging in there. Which begins with your friend showing up and explaining how the person they were going to go on a date with, basically, when he finally got to the, uh, when he got to the bar, um, cancelled over text. And the funny thing is, there's a hint to that, because he talks about, uh, parking there was a nightmare, and Aaron offhandedly mentions, I've heard the parking's a nightmare and the prices are a bit outrageous. So, <laughs> that's another thing. Oh, jeez. Oh, Blue's okay. We hate Melinda as much as Disney hates a brood. Okay, all right, okay, all right. Let's 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 not get political. Let's not get political. Uh, what else was there? Um, I'm trying to remember all the other, like, little references and stuff. Um, and, of, of course, the, uh, the collab or Christmas at the Yara Mug is straight up a reference to the Yara Mug uh, Cafe, which I have not confirmed within the coffee canon. A collective canon, whether or not that's the same place that the, uh, listener works at for Simple Pleasures. I've considered that. But, not sure yet. Because I'm trying to figure out which audios could actually work together and which ones wouldn't. Like, for instance, I don't know if Silas, Ashlyn, and Ethan all exist in that, um, same, like, a vampire canon as all the, uh, other ones. Oh, boy. And now, for some reason, my old roommate is messaging me. Later, dude. Later. We've got a stream to take care of. Anyhow. Um. You know what else I kind of thought would be kind of fun? So, uh, one of the things that I thought would be interesting is if I went back and did, like, an old script. Again, like, remastered it. Like, maybe one of my older ones, like, uh... A step back that was the very first one that i ever did um or one that's like intentionally bad like there's gonna be a warning at the very beginning just basically saying like don't listen to this for relaxation because it's gonna be like very bad but like uh an audio where i don't know like something that really doesn't fit like let's say for instance um what's left of me but instead of vampire coffee it's like drunk coffee the whole time <laughs> Or something like that. Or, like, one of the Yandere audios, but, like, with, uh, the Shy character. So, actually, I don't know. That'd be kind of, like... I don't know that'd be a good idea, actually. Because that would be very, very creepy. Or very unsettling to hear, uh, one of the Yandere audios, but with somebody that sounds really sweet. That would be really funny. That'd be unsettling. But maybe something... Let's see. The coffee can is your favorite thing. Ah... <laughs> uh, Someone falling off a motorcycle. So someone was like the first last game screwball. Yes, yes, he had that. He, he had me read that out for a line request, and I did it. And don't worry, the person that fell off was a vampire. He regenerated from his wounds. You're off to study. All right, see you later. The 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 coffee combined. Shy on to me. Yeah. Okay. Whenever I do like um yandere audios, I prefer ones that like um okay. I'm not a fan of, like, the heavily obsessive ones that will murder other people, like, just to prove how much they love you. I kind of more 
prefer the ones that are like if you gotta do a yandere i think the ones that are kind of like clingy um can be kind of cute in their in their own way just seeing like how much they really totally depend on you uh but i also make sure that the listener is totally cool with it no matter what happens or at least in some way shape or form i'm not gonna do yandere autos where i have you bound to a chair and i'm like i don't know forcing you to do stuff or whatever because that is yeah that's a bit uncomfortable but the sweet yandere's are kind of they're kind of cute uh you should upload more of your singing uh i'm uh i'd like to i'm just a little self-conscious about my voice uh, Okay, that's a really ironic thing for Renee Samaras to say, but I mean my singing voice. Uh, the, the main thing, um, I'd like to do more of those karaoke videos, but, like, uh, yes, I'm not a fan of Ayano. Ayano is an example of a yandere I would really rather not have. Sure, like, a healthy relationship with yandere. Like, if you gotta have a yandere in the audio, I kind of like where, in some way, shape, or form, the two are actually both still happy, because then it can be kind of sweet. Like... I remember the first Yandere script I did, I believe, was uh, Yan Yankan's, or Yankan's, uh, uh, the sweet Yandere asked you to kidnap him, because that was, like, <laughs> that was consensual. <laughs> yeah, okay, anyway, moving on. Yes, listen to me brainstorming my quest. Well, thank you. Uh, the, the other issue with the, um, the karaoke things was, I need to, of course, find the karaoke versions of the music, because there are... Some songs that don't require music, like my mother told me, for instance. Somebody requested that I do a uh, idle uh, ASMR or like an idle script, and yeah, that does sound kind of cool to have somebody that like does some somebody that's like in the singing uh, industry. If I could write my own song, I would. Uh, or like IDK Club song might be creepy. Someone else is trying to attempt something. For, okay. Okay. <laughs> Fair enough. Fair enough. Anyway. Um, what was one? I, I've, I've muted the music for a second because there were a few songs that I've always wanted to try doing. Like, I know for the uh, Siren one I did, uh, my mother told me, but I also wanted to do, um, um, to anyone who's ever played Persona, you know, uh, Beneath the Mask. Like the, uh, I'm a shapeshifter at Poe's Masquerade. Had in both face and mind. I'm free for you to draw. That one. Um, and then I thought that one that would work very well for Yandere Coffee would be an unhealthy obsession. Okay. See, that's the problem. If we're actually asking, like, hypothetically, no, I cannot sing uh, that. Th I, I cannot sing that song. I, I don't know it, unfortunately, and I learn songs very slowly, so I wouldn't be able to, like, I, I'm very bad at, like, learning songs right on the spot. Sundari mean to sweet or soft? Oh, boy. One of the Sundari audios, like, really sweet. That would be kind of fun, actually. Here, hold on. Okay, really quickly. Let's see. Hate on for some reason. Uh, honestly, I can understand that. I don't mind on. I like on, but I can definitely see how she would get on some people's nerves. Sometimes it seems like that the writers tried perhaps a bit too hard to make her, like, really quirky or likable, but I I like her, but I can see why other people don't. Sounds pretty pleasing my voices. Uh, well, thank you. I'm glad it's pleasing. That's good, because I might be doing that sensory uh, overload ASMR. Okay. And unhealthy obsession. Yeah, here we go. All right. Um, any of you ever heard an unhealthy obsession? Definitely a Yandere song. What would Yandere coffee sound like? They call it creeping, I say loving, it's the only way for me. Filling out papers, signing waivers, but I stay outside his reach. I name your mother and your father and the first pet that you keep. I know your favorite place to dine at when your check comes in each week. I know you do your wash on Sundays and you separate your whites. And I ran out of breath. <laughs> and then your car needs a new tire. Cause last week I laid those spikes. I've got a million Polaroids with all the dates pet in red ink. I sneak a walkie talkie in your room to listen to you sleep. You just don't know it yet, but you love me and I love you the same. One day we'll have a pretty wedding and I'll be your everything. That one. <laughs> yeah. Okay. And 
then, um, uh, what else was there? Why does this like Yandere listener sound good right over now? I mean, <laughs> I could always lapse into the Yandere voice. I'm not gonna lie. I think I think I've said this before. I like voicing Yandere coffee. He's not the kind of person I'd spend actual time with. But um, so something you may not know about uh, voice acting is that physicality plays a huge part of it. If any of you are going to get into voice acting, you need to know something right now. You may notice that subconsciously, if you get too much into a role, or even just in a role, honestly, just regularly, like, you might start to flail your arms around a little bit, or you may, like, just, like, I don't know, shake your body a bit, or stand up, or even start pacing around, and that's totally fine. That is something that you should just allow to happen, because that helps you get in character more. And for Yandere Coffee, I am all over the place. Like, just switching all over the place, because he's very twitchy. And he's really happy about everything. And that's why he's so damn fun to voice. I... He's very scary, though. Like, as far as Yandere standards go, he's not that bad, but like... Eh. <laughs> Need an opinion from your coffee? Bead, glitter, pearl, seven ball gum. Okay. Um... Personal opinion? I'd say maybe glitter. I think glitter's good. I'm not really a fan of the... Actually, yeah, glitter. And if not glitter, maybe bead. Okay. Yes, physicality definitely helps with the performance. And also, uh, Yannary Coffee's got that running trend of calling, uh, calling his, uh, lover Honey Bun. I just thought that works for a Yandere. <laughs> anyway, uh, so... Boop, 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 boop. I keep trying to, uh, I keep trying to tell you guys what I have planned and I keep getting distracted. I am so darn easy to distract. Um... As an actor, yes, yes, exactly. Physicality plays a huge part. I was doing something else, just I'm, I'm working on it. Oh yeah, so there were uh, th there were a few more. Um, Hamas, yes, absolutely, absolutely. I can agree with that. Anyhow, so uh, another one that was uh, requested on Patreon was succumbing to sleep over a call, which I thought like a long distance relationship uh, audio. Yeah, I think that'd be really good. Because, um, I, I, th I think it'd be very sweet to have, like, just a call with your boyfriend who's, like, either across the seas or in another country or something. That'd be really, that'd be really sweet. You might go to see the Spider-Man movie. Ooh! Yeah, a lot of my friends are heading out to see that. Alright, hope it's good. I've heard it's good. You under copy for guns or knives. Okay, so funny thing is, I'm actually terrified of knives. Like, I have a phobia of knives. But yonder a copy uses knives. Guns are too loud, of course, and they require ammunition. Canivies do not run out of ammunition. As long as you're quick. <laughs> thank you. I'm gonna yield my voice to Excuse me, thank you. <laughs> so there were a few requests for some NSFW autos on Patreon as well, but I I don't think I can discuss that on a non-18 plus stream, so they're coming. They're on their way. But I cannot really talk any further. There was Yeah. Like, yeah. well, Yandere's are most certainly a, what's the word? It's a niche, so it's not for everyone, but a lot of people love them. I think it's kind of the same reason why a lot of people, yes, ammunition. I know it's ammunition, but I'm pronouncing it ammunition to be, to be silly. Uh, I think it's kind of the same reason why a lot of people have, like, fascinations like weapons, for instance. It's kind of this, like this sense of, like, danger, but also, like, uh, the, okay, for Yandere, it's, like, the sense of danger and sort of unease is both, like, it's interesting, it's fascinating to see, like, this more unhinged side of the human spectrum we don't get to see too much of, but to put them to a context where they're actually totally devoted to you and won't hurt you, probably, um, none of my Yandere's will, but anyhow, I think that's, like, what makes it so entertaining, and some people do find that comforting, some people find it comforting to have somebody completely, like, Obsessed to the point where they will memorize every single bit of your schedule. Anyway. Uh, ammunition. Hello, Simply Yuki. Thank you for making it to the stream. Listener goes over to your house for like a holiday. You have a big family and you put a big family attention and give jealous moments to your family and pieces. <laughs> That's definitely a nice uh, concept. Unfortunately, I, for obvious reasons, can't do older sister audios unless I was a, unless I was a trans speaker, but I don't think I'm qualified to do that as just a dude who was born a dude and is still a dude. 
Uh, I do know we are worthy you for the first time to be king tonight. LDR. Sorry, what 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 is LDR? I'm sorry. I'm I'm really sorry. I don't get it. Uh, working on something secret. This. Is... Ooh, nice knees. Knife made out of paper. Paper knife. Yes. The recovering yandere trope. That is interesting. Yes, having somebody who like used to be a yandere but is like reforming into like a uh, regular person. Actually, in the D and D campaign I'm currently playing, I'm playing as somebody like that. Uh, playing as a. Um, as a lawful uh, evil character that's trying to become either a neutral or a good character, and you kind of see them long as relationship. Yes, okay, all right, yeah, thank you. Somebody who's like trying to recover and escape from their evil ways, but every now and again, stuff from their past keeps coming back to haunt them. Yes, you were right, as long as it's relationship. Yeah, I think it's like a really cool uh, concept. <laughs> uh, I mean, how? Uh, oh, yes, I was, um, I was definitely planning on, uh, having a long-distance relationship, one where you finally meet. I think that's really sweet. <laughs> yeah, unfortunately, I, I, I can't play evil characters. I'm terrible at playing evil ones, and, um, when it comes to having, like, evil characters in the party, as, as long as they're smart evil, I don't mind quite as much. What I mean by that is, like, people who, while they're evil... They'll do it when it's, like, within reason and it makes sense, rather than just being evil for the sake of it and screwing over the entire party, because then that isn't fun. But if they're going to do some dastardly stuff but not, like, drag the rest of the party in into it, I, I think that's fine. Um, yeah, meeting together for the first time after a long distance relationship. There was a, uh, a YouTuber, or more specifically a uh, voice actor, that I actually listened to for quite a while that did an audio like that, and their videos got taken down! And it's, ah, that was one of my favorite ones. It's actually where I got inspired to, like, do those, like, uh, hi, or hello, like, those really cute hellos. Because they started off, uh, the audio by when you open the door, and they did, like, this really cute hello, and I'm like, oh my god, that was so heartwarming. <sighs> Alright, anyway. Yeah, long distance relationship. Yeah, yeah, okay. Well, it seems like a lot of people want it, so I will definitely do that at some point then. You didn't say, uh, didn't still inspire for the cast. Aw. Oh, so you didn't do it. No, you did. Okay. That's nice. I'm I'm a cat person too. That's that's really sweet. I would love to dress my cat up in a sweater, but I, I don't think he would allow it. But Oh. Uh hold on a second. Something just hit me. An epiphany. An epiphany. Second, everyone. I won't be gone long. Talk amongst yourselves. Now I'm back. Sorry. I <laughs> I don't know what that was. Uh. Ugh. Ugh. I don't want to gross anybody out, but I had like a mini vomit just there. Uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm still nervous on stream. <laughs> I never get used to it. Okay. <sighs> of course Blue told you to say the Katsune made audio coffee. <laughs> I was joking about doing that. I don't know what to do for that. That was a joke. It was a freaking thing I drew for the stream. Oh, there's straight stuff under your house. Oh, you're making those sweaters. That's really sweet of you. Uh, I used to have a stray cat named Kit. Um, she wandered into our house one day, and we just took care, to, uh, care of her and adopted her, and she had kittens at one point. It was the first pet I ever raised as a kid. Oh, I miss Kit, but uh, she was a wonderful cat. Cat named Mew is like the cast right now. <laughs> Whoa. Okay, I'm not going to say it out loud. I don't want to ruin it. But. Blue Snipe. Oh, more specifically, Luke. Ooh. Oh. 
Well, if it means anything, I got, you got a guy in Canada rooting for you. And, <laughs> yeah. All right, all right. You got a guy in Canada rooting for you, and I can guarantee a good chunk of these coffee mugs will be rooting for you as well. Oh, good luck with that. Oh, like, <laughs> I don't got any advice, but just... All right, goodbye, literal lamb. And good night. Hello, Chris. Okay, it's a good thing that you've talked about it. That definitely, that definitely helps. It's not something you want to just pop out of nowhere. My cat's name is Moreo. Yours is Milo. Yeah, uh, Moreo. I, I, I posted some pictures of him from time to time. He likes to, uh, he likes to lay on my arm when I'm trying to work. <laughs> hmm. I think I have a mild allergy to cats, because I know that, like, my, uh, I know that my mom had a huge allergy. Cheetah Puff hates my voice? Aww. That makes me a little sad. <laughs> funny, funny thing was, actually, I got a hate comment once from somebody saying, like, I swear, this person talks in the same voice every time he talks, and I was like, Yes, that's how humans work. Why is that a bad thing? I didn't. I didn't know how to take that. I was like, "Yeah, I." What do you want me to do? Just be like. Good evening, chat. How is it going? Are you guys doing our poll? Oh, that's good. I was really, really worried for a moment there that like everything wasn't okay. But anyway, I'm going to keep on top of the keep on top of the chat now. Oh, right. Well, first of all. I'm going to be uh, scrolling here through. Uh, right, I was going to do a singing of uh, Silver and Dust from Dishonored. Have a lovely play, Dishonored. Sorry, what I meant to say was, have any of you played Dishonored? Like, do you know how obnoxious that is? Well, yeah, you probably do know because you just had to experience it. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Simply Yuki. I don't dislike dogs. I'm I'm more of a cat person because I'm really bad at like looking after one thing like all the time, keeping attention on it always. But my sister is a dog person, and we still have a dog. When I don't, I like dogs, but I'm I'm more of a cat person personally. <laughs> Fine, I'll stop. Uh, is that voice actually earlier is the one I've been doing for my uh D and D character? And before anyone asks, I'm not doing any accent in particular. I'm just going with whatever my voice feels like. It was partially inspired by Jester from uh, Roll, uh, not Roll Twenty, Critical Role. <laughs> Roll Twenty is the thing that we used to play at D and D, and also kind of inspired by uh, Maeve, Maeve from Paladins, because one of my friends is obsessed with Maeve, and I've just heard so many of her voice lines because he sends them to me every single day, and I'm like, oh, got a nice voice. I've wanted to get into anime dubbing or at least like actual official voice acting, but I don't know how I would do that. That's that's why I've been doing it like this uh, for now. Anyway, so I, I don't know what kind of accents this is. It's it's just it's just whatever. It's what I've been doing for my D and D character though. Does an accident happen? Yeah, yeah. Some dogs can be a a little bit more aggressive than others. Ooh, that's a nice. You ordered that. That that that's nice. That sounds really cool. Thanks for the data the whole time ever since Paddle went out. Oh shoot! I I really hope I haven't drained your uh. Solar data. Oh, hey, it's the uh, line request audio. Boom, 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 boom. Oh, wait, no, no, this isn't line request. This is the blooper uh, music. All right, anyway. So, uh, have any of you ever heard Silver and Dust from uh, Dishonored? Because uh, the actual song itself has two singers one that's male, one that's female, and the female one is a lot higher pitched than the male one. <laughs> the snake's wearing his hat. Oh my goodness. <laughs> but, uh, so there was one time, I, I almost got one of my friends to do a duet with me one time, but in the end, uh, we didn't do it. So, uh, the male one is, he's got a deep voice I unfortunately will not be able to emulate. It's like, early in the morning, or like a lot deeper and raspier, and it hurts my voice too much. So it's like, Oh, early in the morning, before the sun rise, to get out of bed, 
and open their eyes in dirty old trousers and browns and blacks. They pick up their tools, they pick up their racks, said away, yo. The dust it blows, said away, yo. The dust it blows. They march down that road to Silton's old mine. Just like the elders when the wages were her fine. But Stilton's long gone, and so is his grace. Now ain't no one happy in this miserable place. Said away, yo, oh, the silver it glows. Said away, yo, oh, the silver it glows. Down underground, it's dark and it's cold. They don't get no breaks, they do as they're told. The dust crews get down on their hands and knees to do anything that angry foremen please. Said away, oh, the dust it blows. Said away, oh, the silver it glows. That one. Dude, I'm not really doing it justice, unfortunately, but in the actual game, in the actual game, I remember I was just sneaking around minding my own business and i saw those two bars performing that song and i just stood there spyglass in hand just listening to them like whoa uh. carl and emily yes friend dishonored our friend where's gone goodbye <laughs> sound like carl and emily do i <laughs> I don't know if I can do Corvo's voice. I most certainly can't do Emily's. Um, because Corvo's kind of got more of that, like, uh, um, he's like, it's a lot deeper, and it sounds, like, really raspy. I'm not, again, not doing it justice. You need to, like, actually, actually hear it. What's one of his lines? I mean, I can do an impression of, I can do an impression of Corvo from Dishonored 1 perfectly. Watch this. Dishonored 1 impression. Get it? Cause, 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 cause he didn't, he didn't speak in the first game. He didn't speak. He was mute. He never talked. Okay, you get the idea. Yeah, you get the joke. Okay, all right. <laughs> okay, all right. I, yes, thank you. I, yes, I do enjoy singing quite a lot. I took choir for two and a half years so I could refine my voice and my singing voice. But I, I, I haven't taken any like actual official singing lessons. Choir was the best I could do. I was bass, like the bassiest of basses. I remember one of my favorite songs. Uh, thanks, I'm glad you liked my shell impression. <laughs> one of my favorite songs uh, was uh, from Choir. I don't sing it very often because people either love the song or they hate it because they had to hear it a lot in their school days, which was uh, The Journey. I forget who, who it's by, but it's like... Uh, Tis a gift to be simple, tis a gift to be free, tis a gift something. I don't remember it. Ironically, one of the uh, songs I do remember was <laughs> because it made no sense. It was like, uh, I was following the pack. All swallowed in their coats With scarves of red tied round their throats To keep their little heads From f falling in the snow? Yeah, falling in the snow And I turned round and there you go And Michael, you would fall And turn the white snow red As strawberries in the summertime I remember I was like with my uh, friend Mackenzie While we were doing that song And we were like, whoa, whoa, what? Who's Michael? What happened? It sounded normal at first, but it's like Michael turned, or we turned around and Michael fell down and exploded? Poor Michael. <laughs> oh, you know that song, Layla. Nice. <laughs> yeah, so I, I, don't, I don't know what happened with Michael, but like, yeah, I, I remember the thing that inspired me to join choir was when I was at a, uh, uh, we were at a school assembly and I heard the choir uh, sing The Journey, and as soon as I heard it, I was like, I want to join that. POV, you're a trans man with a high voice. Ha! Huh. Yes, I imagine that is most certainly a situation. <laughs> ah. Love the way you're playing with your voice. <laughs> well, I'm glad it's entertaining. Hello, the Explorer 19. Thank you for joining the stream. Our savior is here, everyone. Oh, thank you. Oh, I hate it when Michael explodes eyes. Yeah, poor Michael. <laughs> Sometimes it do be like that. <laughs> well, I'm just imagining we're just walking through the snow, and then Michael trips, and we're like, Oh no, Michael! <laughs> 
But no, I guess Michael just exploded. I don't know. Oh my gosh, yes. The Sopranos and Altos, they just can't get along, and I don't know why. Like, all of us bases got along. Uh... <laughs> oh, Melinda's messaging you? Okay. That's a nicer Melinda. I guess what is her name? Oh, what happened? Did you... No! Explore, do not encourage them. Do not encourage them. <laughs> oh, wait. Is Cozy Cup streaming at the same time? I didn't know that. Oh, you're an alt. <laughs> do you not get <laughs> do you not get along with uh, Sopranos, Layla? <laughs> I don't know. Back in our choir, the Sopranos and the Altos did not get along. Although I gotta say, it was incredible hearing like the Sopranos and the Altos. Good night. Uh, sorry, Sinjiro. Good night. It was crazy uh, hearing them like sing because you know for me like I can only go incredibly deep. So hearing them go like so incredibly high. I, I remember there was one time when we did a warm-up, and I heard them, like, warming up, and I looked at them, I was like, as a bass, that is a vocal range I can only dream of. It was so cool. You're eating your second sandwich and their stomach's killing you. Oh, boy. Uh, I hope you're okay. Like, I know you said your stomach's killing you, but I hope you managed to get through it. Okay. What other songs do we got here? Oh, actually, I have an idea. I have an idea. All right. All right. Do I play an instrument? Uh, does the voice count? <laughs> okay. That aside. Um, oh, if you get along with your Alto Sopranos, great. Good for you. Honestly, you're, you're not my high school choir. That's for sure. Um, I play guitar. My guitar is actually behind me up on top of the shelf. I played it during the last stream, but like, uh, yeah, um, my, my, my dad's a guitarist, and he's way better than I am, and that expectation is unfortunately, yeah. But yeah, voice is also an instrument. Um, okay. Wait. 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 A piano is cool. I've always wanted to learn piano. Uh, any of you a fan of The Hobbits? Lord of the Rings as well. Misty Mountains. The Misty Mountains song. They did sort of butcher it for the movie. I actually liked the Hobbit movies, believe it or not. And yes, I'm one of those uh, I'm one of those heathens that read the book and also watched the movie and still liked the movie. But I I won't lie that they did definitely change up a lot of stuff for the uh, movie. But you know, uh, okay. Thank you, thank you very much, Explorer. Flute player, nice, nice. Uh. <laughs> harmonize your voice okay i don't know how to harmonize my voice i don't even know what that means i am so bad at music terms how do you send uh, script ideas uh in my about page on youtube i have an email you can send any um any script requests there uh i'm doing a ton of scripts right now so i can't promise i'll get to it but i'll consider it if nothing else <laughs> anyway Blue made a joke about, uh, I, I don't remember how it started, but I said some, some joke about how I started a cult, and then he appointed himself as the ruler of the cult, and now it's gotten a bit out of hand. <laughs> you want to draw something? You can draw something. You can draw something for me. When you're, like, when it's finished, you can either send it, uh, via the email on the about page, or tag me on Twitter, at KufiMug. Uh, there's a link to that. Um, there's a link to that. As well as donation pages on my about page on YouTube, Patreon, Ko-Fi, and Twitter. The Twitter only exists for uh, fan art, so I don't make regular posts there. Actually, if anyone is just curious, uh, I drew some character sprites for Eren from uh, the Emo Kid, uh, befriending the Emo Kid, and a few of those sprites are on Twitter. If any of you are curious and want to take a look at that. Uh, anyway, oh no, <laughs> he hasn't hassled me per se. It's just. I think the cult thing has gotten a little out of hand, but I mean, he's having fun with it, so who, who am I to stop? Harmonize yourself is like you record an ultra kind of soprano version of still singing a song and you blend them together and boom, harmonize. Oh, well, kind of? I did that with the Caged Child song from uh, Dagon Rafa. The, um, oh boy. 
At last, at last, at long last, young dog, dog, and little lost girl, sealed within an iron cage, at mountain's bottom, within the darkness, Goodbye, Yuki. Thanks for tuning in. How many will there be by dawn? Will there be two or just one? Will the guard dog run far away? Or did it eat the little girl? At last, at last, at long last. That one! It's not the same without the creepy ambience, though. God for reading me. What? Wait, what, what did I read? What did I read? Oh, me, really quick, you're going like, I'm going to sound like one of those other things. Like, what? <laughs> okay. Forgot about Funny Seesaw Man until you brought that up. Funny Seesaw Man? I think I forgot about that. Oh, Funny Seesaw Man! <laughs> oh, I completely... <laughs> wow, I was literally the one making the reference. And I didn't get it. Okay, here, hold on. Misty Mountains. I don't know if I'll be able to do it as well as Thorin, but let's give it a shot. Far over the Misty Mountains cold to dungeons deep and caverns old we must away at break of day to seek our pale enchanted gold no it's too deep for me damn it I can't hold bass lines for too long, unfortunately, which is kind of ironic. But it's like, higher ones I can. I'd have to do it higher. Like, the pines were roaring on the height. The winds were moaning in the night. The fire was red in flaming spread. Trees like torches blaze with light. I need a drink. <laughs> First reader coming. Is Amanda Vitaris here in the front of five years? Maybe five years. She's just been like, has it been five years? Whoa, I think it has. Thank you, Explorer. But wow. Uh. <laughs> Shlapa. Oh, what's a schlapper? Any anime recommendations? Oh boy. Uh, I don't know. Anime is purely subjective. I'm a huge fan of Kill la Kill, but I know a ton of people would not like Kill la Kill because of, uh, it's a little too fast paced. Some people might not like the humor. I, I like fast paced things. I love how fast paced it is, but some people wouldn't be able to keep up with it. Some people might like the, might not like the humor. Some people probably wouldn't like the fan service. Uh, if you're a fan of dark fantasy, I recommend Castlevania on Netflix. Pretty awesome. Great music, awesomely animated. V writing, the writing is so good. I don't watch Fairy Tale. I un unfortunately, I've just never really gotten into it. Um, let's see what else. Dying Romp, I I'd recommend, but again, a lot of people also don't really like it. Uh, one of my friends wants me to watch Record of Ragnarok, so I've been meaning to watch that. There's also a movie that's been recommended to me called A Silent Voice, I believe. Which I've been putting off because I've heard it's really good, but that it's really sad. And like, ah, uh, like tragedies are great, but at the same time, I don't know if I want to be sad. Oh, My Hero Academia as well. I started watching it a long time ago. I stopped at one point because I wanted to wait till the whole thing was done. Um, before like I watched the whole thing, so I'm going to be waiting for a while. Yuri on Ice has been recommended to me. I was considering it. Uh, Fruits Basket. Yes, I have not seen Fruits Basket in so long, but I remember really liking it. Oh, Toradora as well. Uh, Toradora is also one of my favorites. It is, uh, it's so wholesome and it's so sweet and it was great. 
Imagine if you teleported into a world of one anime you've watched, which would it be? Oh, boy. Uh... Danganronpa... No, I don't want to go to the Danganronpa universe. The Danganronpa universe is... Well, full of despair. <gasps> um... Not Castlevania. That place would be horrible. Uh... Oh, God. I'd have to get back to you on that one. Final Fantasy is very sad. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. <laughs> part of me sort of wants to get sent to the Kill a Kill universe because of how ridiculous it is. But the other part of me is like, I'd rather not. If you're a background character in that show, you get annihilated. Uh, I also started watching uh, Brand New Animals a long time ago. Unfortunately, I didn't really like that one. I liked it at first. Jeremy Lee is also one of my favorite voice actresses, and she's the lead role in that one. But... Um, after, like, the first few episodes I think were really solid, but then after a while the writing felt kind of forced and kind of clunky, and I couldn't really keep watching. I, I thought maybe I'd get, go back to it and give it another shot. Oh yeah, Attack on Titan. Okay, so, funny thing is, I'm not really a big fan of Attack on Titan. Um, again, I love the concept of Attack on Titan. I think it's super unique, and it is really well written. The main reason I'm actually just not a fan of it was because I was kind of ex. I was expecting one thing and I got something different. I was expecting more of like an action anime and I got one that was more narrative, which was honestly fine. And I totally see why other people love Attack on Titan. Um, I'm not a fan of like, uh, like things that are like overly gory, unfortunately. So whenever like someone died in Attack on Titan, I had to look away, which is ironic because I've watched Castlevania, which is gory. And, uh, I, I like Castlevania, but I'm not a fan of the, uh, of the gore. Like those scenes... I, I can't rewatch, but believe it. I, I, despite me not being a huge fan of Attack on Titan, I did watch the whole thing. So like, I'm kind of a hypocrite, um, because I did I did really love the concept of it, and despite everything, like I still think it's good. I don't think it's a bad anime at all. Whisker Away. Yes, I've watched Whisker Away. I loved Whisker Away. It's it's great. It's pretty awesome. Yes, unfortunately. Attack on Titan, I did get it bored with sometimes. There were a lot of scenes where people, like, something action-packed was happening, and the characters, rather than fighting or doing something about it, were just screaming at each other. And I was like, is something gonna happen, or are we just gonna keep screaming at each other, or what? Although I will say, I will say, there is one scene, one scene, in the third season, which I'm not gonna spoil, but involves Levi, everyone's favorite character, when he's getting chased around the city, that scene, it, my jaw dropped when I watched it because it is so fucking well animated. Like, oh my god. I, I go back to it and, like, rewatch it on YouTube sometimes. And yeah, there, there's this bit where, like, Levi's getting chased around the city and he's using, like, his, like, mobility gear. And it is, oh my god, it is eye candy. <sighs> Explorer, don't, don't, please, don't. You're gonna cause me so much pain. But goodbye, Explorer, and thank you for tuning in. Yes, I'm a fan of Slice of Life animes. Oh, you ordered a pizza. Nice. I ordered some uh, some food from Boston Pizza a little while ago as well. That's what I was eating before I started the stream. I used to work at Boston Pizza. I don't know if I ever told you guys that. I liked it. And I got laid off because of COVID. But I liked it. Late night cookies. I think I have cookies somewhere in here, actually. Um, Given is your comfort anime. Given. Hmm. I haven't heard of Given. Hunter x Hunter. Uh, yeah, I, I kind of... Okay, I'm not a fan of the art style of Hunter x Hunter, but I've heard it's a really good, like, action anime, so I'm like, yeah, that was good. <laughs> Better taking around for characters. I actually answered this at the very beginning. Um, okay, I'll just speed run through them all. Uh, first one. Uh, Nayagi, Chihiro, uh, I'm forgetting all their names. Oh my god, Kirigiri. Then there's, uh, I like Kurumi, Maki, Kibo, Fuyuhiko, uh, Shuichi, uh, Ryoma, Mekamaru, Ibuki, uh, Pekko, I think I already said Fuyuhiko, um, I'm forgetting someone, I am forgetting someone, I can't, Coffee try to read Lady Dimitrescu? What, like, Lady Dimitrescu? Are you referring to Resident Evil Village? Tagami. Oh, yes! <laughs> Gundam, thank you! I was like, I know there's somebody that I'm forgetting. 
Yeah, one of my uh, one of my friends, his favorite character is Kokichi. And I'm talking like set his profile picture as almost cosplayed as, but didn't have enough money for does impressions of all the time. It's a lie. Um, but yeah, Tanaka was also pretty awesome too. I really love characters like Gundam who like put on this like uh, appearance of being like really threatening or really evil but they're like total softies in the end like one of my favorite moments is when like sonia's like whoa are those your devas a destruction they're so cute and he's like did, did you just call my dark devas a destruction cute thank you <laughs> it was like ah gundam you softy and the whole like of course i have no interest in attending the party i would not like to spend time around such menial things he totally wants to go yeah uh, yeah, Blue mentioned, uh, him taking his first steps, uh, a little while ago, which is good on him. That is some serious progress. You have an unhealthy obsession with Kazuichi. <laughs> well, to each their own. To each their own. that music I'm not gonna read that Chris I can't you win I love this music sorry I was enjoying the music a bit all right. Jesus. Ah, oh, Rentaro Mon. <laughs> yes. Yes. Forgot about Rentaro. No spoilers, but it would have been awesome if he was around for uh, longer. Because I'm going to say it wrong, Chris. I thought Terra Terra was a pretty entertaining character, yeah. I'm not going to lie, especially in the animation. I did laugh at some of his jokes. One of my one of my favorite jokes. I can't say it completely out loud because, again, not an 18 plus stream. But it's in the animation. My, my favorite moment is in the first episode when, like, um, he makes that... Like, something of mine is growing right now, joke. And he immediately gets clobbered by, like, a baseball bat and sent flying across the room. And the teacher's like, no, that wasn't really necessary, Tara Tara. And he's like, oh, but it hurts so good. It's like, okay, Jesus. He was entertaining. That's one. Bye, Chris. All right. Chris, I'll hear me. Bye, Chris. Love you. Chiaki. I still cry every time. <laughs> Hogwarts house? Uh, I've always wanted to join Ravenclaw, personally. My friends say that I'm more of a Hufflepuff or more of a Slytherin. I'm personally more of a... Um, I don't know. I, I'd rather be in uh, Ravenclaw, personally. Plus, I like their name the most. Okay. Everyone... I don't care which one. <laughs> I don't care which one, but do me a little uh, favor. Name a script. Just name a script that I have done. I don't care which one. And either name a script that I have done or name a character. Let's see if we can do that little uh, mashup. I have an idea. Ravenclaw with Hufflepuff tendencies. <laughs> All right, now we're going to have the uh, Hogwarts debate. Awesome. But quick, just emo boy. Okay, we've got the emo boy script. Anyone got it? Okay, shall I come? Or tell you what, we'll go with Aaron, since he is the emo boy. And we've got the shy coffee date. Alright. And then drunk coffee and confession failed successfully. Alright. Alright. And then Nathan. Okay. Alright, 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 alright. I'm gonna write this down real quick. Aaron for shy coffee. Then drunk coffee. Confession. It makes me really happy that people are calling them by name. It makes me so happy. Okay. 
And Nathan for punch drunk. Oh boy. Okay, then vampire coffee. Okay, we just need a script. Which one? Which one? Which script? Which script? Come on, guys. Any will do. Well, assuming it hasn't already been mentioned, of course. <laughs> Mitch? Alright, we've got Mitch as well. Mitch is fun to play, too. And then... <laughs> okay. I always have this image of Hunter working in a boba shop. That's true. That's true. That actually kind of makes sense. Okay, we'll go with Aaron Shy Coffee, Drunk Coffee for Confession Tale, then Nathan Punch Drunk. All right. Team Train to go. <laughs> Tell you what. We'll take turns around these scripts then. All right. Where is my Shy Coffee date? I'm going to read a few of them off in the characters that you guys have requested. All right. Who's going? Oh, God. Aaron's not a nervous guy, though. This isn't going to make sense. <laughs> All right, here we go. So, uh, Naren's voice is a bit, it's a bit lower and a little, it's a little raspy, kind of. Um, hi. Uh, can I bother you for a second? If you're busy, I'll leave you alone. I don't want to interrupt you or anything. You're not? Okay. <laughs> Good. Um, so I kind of wanted to ask you something kind of crazy. And you're allowed to say no. There's no pressure or anything. I won't get upset if you don't want to. So, um, I've kind of been... <laughs> ne never mind. I just realized how creepy it sounds out loud. Uh, forget it. I'm sorry for bothering you. <laughs> uh, Aaron is from uh, Befriending the Emo Kid. Let's fast forward a little bit. Yes. Um... Wow, this, this this really is the exact opposite of Aaron. Um, everyone's staring at us. Why are they staring at us? Yeah, you're right. I should just ignore them. Oh, the waitress is coming over. No, where's the part where we start flirting? That's the good part. Why am I getting flustered? I I'm not. Uh, well, okay, maybe a little. Well, I, I can't... I can tell you, it's just... I've never told anyone this, so... Please prom- No! No! Where's the flirting? <laughs> That's what we're here for! Oh, and uh, let's do a bit. Stop calling me cute! God, jeez. Well, no, it's not that I mind or anything. It's just, you, you're you making me get more flustered than I already am. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that is totally the opposite. You know what I come to? He talks about his cousin. Does he talk about his cousin? I, I don't think so. He talks about his brother every now and again. Uh, yeah. Okay. Let's go with uh, drunk coffee for confession failed successfully. <laughs> Manly with the car. Yeah, he wouldn't get nervous. He definitely wouldn't. Okay. Con Do I still have confession failed successfully? Oh no. Did I get rid of it? Oh, no, it's right. It's a script not owned by me. Oh, no. No. All right. No worries, guys. I posted the link to the script in the actual video itself. I got this. Confession failed successfully. Go out of the way, ad. Move, ad. I don't have YouTube premium. Whoops. I opened it on Chrome on accident. Okay. Oh boy, you're doing a cosplay commission for Kokichi. Kokichi Oma, uh, he is a character from the Danganronpa video game, specifically the third one, and he is a huge fan favorite. A lot of people love Kokichi. He's very evil, though. Very evil. Alright, I'm going to read out the line that everyone loves. Here we go. <laughs> this actually makes sense for drunk coffee. All right. <laughs> Having a crush is so stressful. Why does it feel like fighting a group of angry pigeons would be easier than confessing to your crush? Yeah. Uh, hi. Uh, no, 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 nothing is the matter. I, uh, uh, yeah. 
to run to the bathroom because I forgot my pigeons. <sighs> Ugh. Ugh. Why did I say that? Why in the world would I have pigeons in the bathroom? Ugh. I am such a mess. They're way out of... Oh, they are way out of my league. No. He slash she is way out of my league. I shouldn't even bother confessing to him slash her. <laughs> 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 malicious eagle or mischievous evil? Um, initially mischievous evil, but then goes malicious because he ends up actually getting someone killed at some point and fully intended that to be the outcome. So, yeah. Yeah. Definitely malicious evil in the end. Okay. Okay, Kathy. You got this. It's easy. Just don't freak out. If they say no, well, at least you tried. Hey, you, I need to tell you something. But, but, but first, take this glass of punch. Secondly, I have a huge crush on you. The way you make everyone laugh and the way you, you help everyone and the way you take time to comfort those who are having a bad day. You're such a caring person and gentle person in your personality. God, your personality is so attractive. And don't even get me started in your adorable laugh. And the reason I'm saying all this is because if, if I really like you and I hope we can be good friends and hang out more. Oh, I probably should not have said that so loudly. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> yeah, honestly, that, that script makes a lot of sense for uh <laughs> for drunk coffee. The funny thing is, for a regular person saying I forgot my pigeons would honestly make sense, but or sorry, the way someone saying that they forgot the pigeons would be like, what? But for drunk coffee, it's like, yeah, that makes sense. The way they make everyone laugh. But but first, let me take a selfie. Wait, 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 wait. But first, let me take a selfie. Well, for some reason, my phone's not making noise. The joke is ruined. I was going to, like, button mash the take photo button, but alas, it did not work. Is it because my phone's low on battery? I kept it open this entire time. All right. Uh, who is next? Oh, yeah. Punch drunk Nathan. Oh, boy. Is Nathan, like, going to be, like, actually drunk, or is he going to talk totally normal? <laughs> if a guy confessed to me, like, those love being drunk, I never let him go. <laughs> All right, well, uh, in that case, I'm going to sing a song. Sing with me a song of birthright and love. The light scatters to the sky above. <laughs> yes, my ringer's on. I didn't mute it. It's just not working for some reason. Oh, really? He said that. That's oh, I'm sorry to hear that. <sighs> yeah, that's. I've been in the boat before of confessing to somebody I liked, only to find out that they are literally incapable of having feelings for me, and it's like, ouch. A lot of people. It's hard to talk about that with other people too, because for some reason they people think that's funny. They're like, oh, ha ha, really? It's so funny. It's like it really isn't. It's the same as having your heart broken. <sighs> anyway, so I did not delete punch drunk. There we go. All right. There's the version I wrote, and then well, technically it's still the same version, but I made a public script that I've been sending to a few other people. Uh, I've actually sent the script to a few other voice actors just to see if I can get some of my favorite VAs to voice the script. One of them did, which made me really happy. Uh, Second Cup also did as well. Uh, okay. So, we got Punch Drunk. Oh boy. So, how would Nathan sound? Uh, because we got our southern accent. But, uh, yeah, I'm sorry. Uh, so we got the southern accent, but would Nathan be drunk? What would drunk Nathan sound like? Uh-oh. The banner! No! Well, folks, we lost the banner. Just kidding, it's back. Uh, that means that I've been doing this for an entire two hours, though. So I'll probably have to end the stream soon before I do that. Let's see. Uh, what's the most iconic line? Besides the one at the end. Uh, very good. 
Oh, it just hit me that I'm having trouble seeing and thinking and standing and everything straight. So I guess that means I can't really refuse to do a truth or else I might die. Well, guess that means I'm at your mercy. Hit me with your best shot, brother. Or hit me with your best shot, sister, depending on the gender of the person who's listening. Mmm, truth. Did I only invite you to the party? Blah, I was hoping you wouldn't put me on the spot like that. Yeah, I did. Just you and me. What? Hey, that's another question entirely. Wait your turn, you impatient imp. <laughs> All right, what do we got here? What? You want me to? I mean, yeah, I'll do it, but I wasn't expecting something so wholesome. All right. <laughs> yeah. Lost and Found Solomon's most favorite song. Oh, really? Yeah, I used to, I used to sing that song quite a lot back when Final Fantasy Fates came out. Uh, I loved the gameplay of Fates. The story was not the best, but you know it worked. All right, who else do we got? Yeah, I'm glad that uh, Nathan's also fun to do as well. Like I said before, I'm not really a fan of like uh doing like, role plays of pre-established characters, as, as in, like, a character someone else wrote. That's why when I did a cyberpunk role play, I didn't want to make it about V, because I was like, yeah, I can't do an impression of V. Um, plus, both the actor of male and female V both do an exemplary job. I was like, I'm just going to create my own character. And I even commissioned the thumbnail. I didn't have enough to make, I didn't have enough to afford, like, the really good commission, but I was like, it's all right. Um... Sometimes an accent just go into my accent as well. <laughs> yeah. Sometimes. Oh, goodbye, parent weirdo. Yeah. Embrace the dark. You call a home. Yeah, that one. Gaze upon an empty white throne. A legacy of lies. A familiar disguise. Friends of the I imagine listening to someone talking, my little pigeon. <laughs> there, there, my little pigeon. <laughs> um, who else we got here? Oh yeah, so there's Vampire Coffee. Now, unfortunately, doing an impression of Vampire Coffee just sounds like me, but slightly more concerned with the occasional, I'm gonna bite you now. I don't know if I've ever mentioned this before, but voicing bites is really fun. Like, obviously, um, my headcanon is that, uh, Vampire Coffee has venom on his teeth that prevent it from actually hurting kind of like if you get a needle they put that little like um uh like that cream on your arm to prevent it from hurting so the bite isn't painful but voicing them is a lot of fun you kind of make like this noise which by the fun story actually um when i did the uh coffee oh when i did the uh neko vampire collab featuring silas and either ethan or ashlyn depending on which one you listened to i actually gave some i had to give second cup and apollo some little guidance on doing vampire bites because they had never done one before and i had one that i liked to do which is kind of putting your lip over your bottom teeth and kind of drawing your upper lip back so your teeth are exposed which sounds stupid if you talk but then you go and it sounds really good Anyway, I've not seen Diabolical Lovers. I've heard some of the music. Very, very good. More Blood? Awesome. Uh, what's it called? I use some of it for D&D, &D, actually. Um, I know More Blood was one of the ones that sounded really good. There's also, like, something to do with... It had Night in it. I remember that much. I was going to say Under a Hollow Night, but no, that's something completely different uh i don't know silas was fun to voice as well but there were a lot of breaks in my voice unfortunately while i was voicing him but it was fun to play as this charismatic and charming vampire at least i hope he was charming that's what i was going for oh is it just straight up called long night oh it is well that one's neat and then there was also just the song called Diabolic Lovers, which was really good as well. Yeah. Um, yeah. Who was there? 
Stanton, Blue Stanton voice? I don't know what that sounds like. I'm, I'm sorry. You don't know how to reply? Wait, what did I say? Your voice acting and biting seems like you bite on food. Uh, no. Unless I'm food. I'm not biting any food. I, I, I kind of just bite myself. Yes, I was planning on doing more Vampire Listener. Because a lot of people did request Vampire Listener. Okay. Alright. Is this the Mega Gay Zone by any chance? Well, when um, I started out this channel, I made it for basically anyone who wanted to listen. But the majority of my listeners are male. So yes, I would say that there are quite a few Mega Gays around here. <laughs> But of course, we got people of all sorts of shapes and sizes. Male, female, non-binary, trans male, trans male, and everyone in between. So, I'm gonna list this out now before I forget. Oh, right, someone wanted to hear a bit more of Mitch. Mitch is really fun to do as well. He's like this really sweet guy. At least his voice sounds really sweet. Okay, so while we do have the loyal boyfriend uh, heals you, or the loyal warrior boyfriend heals you, Possibly with a British voice, although I don't know if I can actually do that. We've also got the sensory overload ASMR, the succumbing to a sleep over a call or long distance relationship. And we're not only planning on continuing Rave's story at some point. Writing his script is hard because I have to write a lot of really big words. But, you know, uh, if nothing else, we're still planning on continuing it. And I'm going to get a continuation. Mitch is going to get a continuation at some point. Mitch and Ember are going to get a continuation story. We're probably going to go shopping together because Ember needs to get some new clothes, and then we're going to show Ember what the real world's like. That should be really neat. Yeah. Anyway, um, Mitch is really fun to do because he's in, he's also, well, he does sound really sweet. He's also in this context where, like, he's summoned a pleasure demon, and yet nothing spicy is really going to happen. Like, th there are a few, like, little, little remarks here and there about how attractive Ember is, but I was like, that's, that's warranted for a succubus or for an incubus, depending on which one you're listening to. But then, other than that, um, we're gonna have a wholesome succubus take. But that aside, we're probably also gonna have a vampire listener as well. The one that I did was kind of just a one-off, but I was planning on doing more vampire listener. Um, a few people have requested that at the end of What's Left of Me, the uh, vampire coffee turns the listener. I don't think I want to do that. Because, like, I I I'm totally okay with, like, having one of them turned. But the problem is, not everyone listening would want to be turned into a vampire, and I don't want to have a multiple choice thing. So I think instead I'll have the vampire listener turning the uh, turning the speaker at some point. That might be a little bit better. Anyhow, sorry. Uh, <laughs> yeah, definitely the right place. Okay, Mitch. Yep. Uh, no, I don't know speaking thing. Gender fluid, bisexual, and gay in every direction. Gay squared, if you will. <laughs> All right. So Rin the cat most certainly qualifies as a mega, mega gay. Oh, yeah, you listened to that one, okay. Yes, of course it goes without saying, but uh, the male for male one was an incubus. The male for female one was a succubus. So there's just a couple differences. Do I like dogs? Yeah, I like dogs. I'm a cat person, but I still like dogs. Any different pride flags need ideas what to do next? Oh, boy. Uh, I don't I don't know which ones you have and haven't done, so. Okay. I'm probably one of the only females here. Maybe, but we still got a very, uh, we got a diverse cast. Honestly, it's it's really cool to see so many people from like uh, different places coming to this channel. Um, I do want to make something uh, a little bit uh, clear. It's a trans gay dude. I agree. I love this channel. Thanks for doing good. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Didn't Mitch uh, hint that Ember was in the BDSM? Well, <gasps> only on the Patreon. Let's give it up for the uh, mega gays in the chat. <laughs> All these emojis. Are you doing continuation of Aaron? Whew, oh boy. Um, okay, so here's the thing. Continuation of Aaron. Specifically emo boy. Uh, so I made, like I said, I made that one so long because I hadn't made uh, an audio for the trans viewers before. So to make up for that, I made it really, really long. Um, so if I continued Aaron's story, I, I don't know. It's like, I'm not against continuing a story. I just don't know what to do next, but I could probably think of something. And I know a lot of people got really attached to Aaron, so I would probably do some more stuff uh, with him. It's just, I'm not making another 50 minute long audio. Or maybe I will, maybe I'll change my mind. But right now, I do not plan on it. Because while I can look back and be like, yeah, I'm really proud of that. Guys, 
That script took me two months to write, a week to record, and almost an entire day to edit. And keep in mind, I had to do it twice for both trans males and trans females. So, not to sound like a dick, but I really hope you guys appreciated that because that was no small amount of effort on my part. <laughs> so if I continue him, it's not going to be as long. Anyhow. Um, what was I going to say? Oh, yeah. So there has been a misconception, sort of, that I'm a channel that focuses primarily on male-for-male -male audios or gay audios that happens to make male-for-female audios as well. That isn't true, but the latter isn't true either. I'm not someone who happens to make M for F audios. That just happens to make audios at the same time. I just make audios for everyone as best as I can. It's like, it's difficult too, of course, because there's a ton of different like uh, people to recognize, of course. But um, I'm just trying to, like I primarily focus on just male and female because I think that is the majority of people that like, um, that listen to um like audios so just primarily like uh, males or females but of course i know that there are tons of other like identities and qualifications as well so uh not qualifications or well, I, uh, whatever just point being so overall um whoever you are you are allowed on the channel i'm not i don't want to ever see a comment from people just saying like hey this isn't like directed at you buzz off because like it's not i'm not really like directed at any specific people uh it's the one who has a short attention span i'm wow <laughs> oh don't i have a really short attention span as well as you probably noticed i kind of flipped from oh actually speaking of which so see i flipped from one thing to another so goddamn quickly <sighs> you're welcome don't get me wrong, I enjoyed making the audio, it's just, even if it's something you enjoy, that doesn't change the fact that it's a ton of work. Oh, you have two different colored eyes, that's cool. I have brown eyes, I don't know if I've ever mentioned that. I have brown eyes. My sister also does, uh, my mom has, uh, green eyes, so does my dad, actually. So, me and my sister, we both have brown. Let's see. Thank you. I never subscribed to ASMR channels, so but this is the only exception. Oh, thank you. I'm the exception. All right. Give me a nail up to my just trans guy. He, they, it. He doesn't pass at all. This channel makes me so happy. Thank you, Luca. One brown, one blue. Oh, that's cool. Brown eyes are pretty. Hmm. Yeah. Um. I'll be honest. One of the things that kind of... Uh, one of the tricky things about uh, writing... Uh, audios for like non-binary audios or trans audios it's just how do you make it a trans or binary script without sounding incredibly on the nose because i don't want to like have the whole script focus on how binary the person is or not how non-binary the person is or how trans they are because it's like that doesn't happen in real life and in actual scripts you don't sit there going like ah yes dude you are a dude and it's just a little like you know it's a little strange so it's like um you want to, like, find a way to work in the fact that the listener is male or female or non-binary or trans without, like, forcing it in. You want to make it sound just, you know, like, it's normal because that's how it should be. They, you should be able to just have a conversation. So when people, like, requested, like, certain, like, uh, people kind of do that as well, actually. They'll, they'll like, request that I make, like, certain, like, ASMR categories, and I'm okay with suggestions. But people have suggested stuff to me where I'm like, I don't know how I could... Yeah, okay, if it's gender dysphoria, of course, of course. Then yes, that would be the focus of the entire video. But I don't know how, like, I make an audio on a certain subject without, like, just focusing on the entire thing. Or I don't know. Oh, gotta turn this down just a small bit. Anyway... I think at the end of the day, an audio that should be, like, directed at your gender should just literally be something that you enjoy or something that you would like to listen to while also just respecting your pronouns. That that should be it. Like, for me, uh, for instance, whenever I hear an audio, I don't want to be constantly reminded that I'm a guy. I just, I like hearing the little unique changes on, like, um, since the listener is male, this is happening instead. Or, like, um... I also just like whenever people are referring to me, they don't say, like, uh, they're looking 
this way. They'll say, like, oh, he's looking this way or just something like that. Like, he or they. And that's fine. I don't need every sentence to be like, yeah, because you're a guy. Of course, there have been, like, a few exceptions uh, here and there. Because, like you mentioned earlier, if it's about, like, dysphoria, then, like, yes, of course. That's the main focus. Obviously, you're going to be focused on gender there. Anyhow. So, overall, uh, people have made recommendations before, and there have been very rare instances where somebody has actually recommended me an audio that I've just been like, I'm not comfortable doing that. Like, there are a few audio categories that I definitely am not okay with, like, doing. Like, for instance, um, and I don't mean to kink shame here, alright? I do not mean to kink shame. But I do do some spicy stuff on Patreon, but I won't voice cheating. Some people are really into that because they say that, like, uh, you know, the rush from that, especially if it's somebody that deserves it, would be, like, really great. But I'm like, I, I'm not going to voice unfaithfulness. I'm not okay with that. Somebody also wanted a comfort for suicide. And it's like, well, I would definitely really like to help somebody with that. I'm just a guy with a mic. I am not qualified to be providing that kind of comfort. So I won't make comfort for suicide videos and not because I'm totally okay with somebody committing suicide. No, that's not it at all. I'm just not somebody that's qualified to offer that kind of advice. Yeah, un unfaithfulness is definitely not something that like, yeah, some people are super in like, a lot of people like they prefer it if it's like cheating on somebody who definitely deserves it. But I'm like, I, I don't know. I'd, I'd really rather not. I think unfaithfulness, even if someone deserves it, is still unfaithfulness. Um, also, incest. Not gonna voice incest. I realize, uh, so, uh, kind of accidentally, there was, in one of the more recent, uh, uh, audios on Patreon that I did, my character happened to, uh, mention a quote. He said, like, well, dad always said blah, 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 blah. And I realized, wait, when I put it... I didn't realize until I was reviewing the audio, I was like, wait, when you voice it like that, it kind of sounds like I'm referring to, like, we have a mutual father. It'll make it very clear. No, no, that was not the case at all. He was just straight up saying, I should have said my dad always says that, but, like, no. Uh, okay. No one has asked for incest. Someone asked for cheating before. I politely declined, but no one's asked for incest before, but I have seen, like, other creators be asked for that. And I'm like, uh, if anyone ever asks that, I'm gonna have to say no, and I hope everyone understands. <laughs> yeah. But anyhow. And, uh, what else was there? Okay. This has nothing to do with not being okay with voicing things. Um. Uh, so, just while I was on the topic of, like, some things uh, sounding like certain other things, uh... <sighs> One person uh, mentioned in the Punch Drunk script how they're a little confused by the fact that, depending on the listener's gender, I refer to them either a brother or sister at one point. Because I say, like, hit me with your best shot, brother. Or hit me with your best shot, sister. And I want to make it very clear as somebody who has a sibling, I have never referred to my sister as sister. Like, I've never walked up to her and been like, hi, sister. Unless I'm, like, being unironic about it. So if you're ever hearing an audio where, like, somebody's referring to somebody else as brother or sister... As in, like, hi, brother, or hi, sister. The way I meant it was more it's just, like, a friend-to-friend -friend thing. I've called one of my friends brother before, or even just somebody that I respect greatly a brother before. Unless it's, like, okay. And if they are actually referring to an actual sibling, then... Well, they don't know how to write convincing, um... Convincing brother-sister dialogue. Now, don't get me wrong. Sometimes I get that it's necessary. Like, for instance, when I did the uh, Big Brother uh, Conference You thing... There were a few lines that I would never say to, um, my, uh, uh, my sister or my sibling. Like, I've never been like, let your big brother help, partially because I'm the little brother. But I've never been like, uh, let your little brother help. But sometimes, um, even though it's not very immersive or not realistic, you kind of just want to say some things to get the point across that this is, in fact, a brother to either brother or sister audio. And, I don't know about you guys, but, um, uh, I like listening, when I'm listening to, like, uh, Big Brother or Big Sister audios, being called Little Brother is kind of a 
it, it's tingle inducing for me if they go like little brother or something like that it's like oh that's really nice my sister has never come up to me and called me little brother before or even little bro she just refers to me by my actual name but obviously because i can't get everyone's name correct <laughs> uh yeah the main tell for an author is the only tell not is hastiness yeah now again sometimes you need to establish that a character or these two characters are like siblings and the only real way to do that is for them to refer to each other as such and well it's like yeah i get i get why they're doing it that doesn't make it any less like haha <laughs> siblings don't actually say that thank you marty happy 10,000. yeah wow um what else i was gonna say oh yeah it's like have you guys ever seen i remember um thank you i'm glad you like it I remember uh, one of my friends actually sent me a video once of like whenever uh, the main character or the main character's best friend is introduced because it's it was so accurate because how a lot of people tend to like introduce main characters it's like the uh, like the main character's best friend is like hey there dude how's it going oh man you're looking really upset is it because of that one thing that happened 12 years ago when you tragically burned down a building by slamming a microwave into it man those were some wild times weren't they anyway i heard abies into you man like they just over like exposition <laughs> again i get why they're doing it they need to establish these two know each other but it's still really funny because no, no one does that no one does that hmm although although oh you're a comfort of little press oh you're welcome. <laughs> Most, um, is in Vampire and then a million of shows in Well, what? We are because in Vampire Night, in the middle of the show, you find out that the two main characters are siblings because they're. Oh, okay. For a brief minute, I thought you were talking about our Vampire collab. I was like, wait, what? Vampire Night? I've never heard of Vampire Night. <laughs> Um, mostly, yes. Rave is planning on making a comeback. Where is it? Aha, here it is. Rave is planning on making a comeback. It's just that Writing some of his lines is a little tricky because he has a very big vocabulary and vocabulary. And also I'm not quite sure what to do for a part two, but I am planning on it. Ray was a character I quite enjoyed voicing and do not plan on abandoning anytime soon. However, there are a ton of audios that I get requests to do continuations on almost daily, so it's a little hard to pick one audio over the other. And it took me three months to continue night running, for instance, just because I didn't even know what to do for that audio. I'm allergic to latex prot now wrong one again. I hope you understand, and thank you very much for your patience. Hi, Katie Bay, thank you very much. <laughs> yeah, all right, anyway. So, oh, hello, Roki. Fancy meeting you here. Let's idea skip to a page of the book and pick a word. Let's do that right now, actually. Hold on, hold on. Somebody mentioned a lot, I think it was you actually, Luke. Someone mentioned a long time ago that uh, they were, oh darn it. I was gonna grab uh, Call of Cthulhu, but I don't have it. I brought it home when I moved home and I forgot to bring it back with me. No. Thank you, no. <laughs> Wow, I'm, 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 I'm really humbled by that. Thank you. Where the hell did you he hear the latex thing? Okay, so, funny story actually. Every line in Rave's book was inspired by some, something that I heard throughout high school. And, um, try to start watching on your computer, but YouTube is having issues for no reason. Yeah. Yeah, I imagine. YouTube is not, it's not perfect. <laughs> well, yes, I, I was just sitting in the cafeteria by myself one day because both of my friends were sick 
and I heard people talking about uh, allergies, and one person mentioned, like, um, the school doesn't allow uh, balloons in the building anymore because apparently some people are allergic to balloons. Who's allergic to balloons? And one person responded with, I'm allergic to latex. And I was like, when I'm writing, when I was writing um, Rip's, uh, Rave's lines, I was like, okay, what's something that sounds really tonally inconsistent? I'm allergic to latex. And there were quite a few uh, other ones. So funny story was, um, Rave was actually a character that uh, two years prior I had, I was helping one of my friends um, make a little, um, I was voicing a character in a little series he was making. It never, it used to be on YouTube, but it got taken down. It was like a machinima. And I was allowed to basically write the character. And so that's where Rave came from. He was this really hyper-intelligent guy, a researcher, um, who was also an expert marksman with a crossbow, but uh, it was a fantasy one. But anyway, uh, and he carried a book with him at all times because although he was really smart in his field, he didn't know how to talk to other people, and so he would open the book and try to figure out, like, what to say. But then the mission got taken off of YouTube, and two years later, when I decided I wanted to make a Kudai Ray, I was like, oh, I should bring Rave back because he was such a cool character, but he never got to see the light of day. Supposed to be doing homework? Well, maybe you should, but I mean, the stream won't be lasting for much longer, so I won't be distracting you for too much longer. Where do you take requests? And then also, I just wanted to know, has anyone ever requested something and then tried to give you a script as well? No one has ever uh, sent me a script. I, any script I've done, I've either written myself or I found online after asking permission for it. Um, as for script requests, it's in my about page on YouTube. There's a link to my email at the very bottom, probably labeled as uh, for business inquiries. Um, now, as of right now, I don't know if I'll take any requests. Like, like I'll, I'll, I'll look them over, of course. I will consider them. But I don't know if I can take any at the moment because there's a ton of other audios, especially the Patreon ones that a lot of people have requested there that um, I'm working on. See, I'm kind of a control freak. I usually like doing like writing my own audios or being in charge of my own things so um what we're doing on patreon right now you do need to like be a member of the patreon that's one dollar minimum but i just posted asking people like hey what's something safe for work or not safe for work that you wanted to hear for an audio concept don't be shy and people are just posting little comments on stuff they want to hear uh so um they're not sending me scripts they're just giving me concepts and i'm like yeah yeah I'll see if I can do those. Which might I say, um, a lot of the safer, uh, safe work ones were really sweet, and I definitely like to do them. And some of the, uh, some of the not safer work ones, man, some of you guys are into some very interesting things. Not a criticism, merely an observation. Granted, <laughs> I can. Oh my! Sorry, I'm getting messages all of a sudden. Granted, I can wait a minute. Where's the audio? Where's the music? I just we're missing music. Where'd the music go? Oh. The music wasn't gone. I unplugged my headphones like a dumbass. <laughs> now, I'm not saying I was against doing those audios. I was just like, whoa. Okay, that's going to take some getting used to. <laughs> Is what's left of me getting a part six? I am planning on it. I, I'm trying to figure out, because trying to figure out ways to continue. I, I was thinking that it'd be really sweet if we had this bit like several years in the future where we're sitting down with our kid who is probably asleep. It's just a little difficult writing the dialogue where now that we're both parents, it'd be slightly different depending on if you're male or if you're female. Um, like, that's another difference, actually. Uh, in the male version, we, of course, talk about adopting a child. In the female uh, version, uh, we kind of more talk about if we're, like, ready to actually have children because it'd, you know, be a little different. Hello, TV. I'm glad you guys liked What's Left of Me. What's Left of Me, honestly, is... One of my personal favorites. Uh, it holds a special place in my heart. I love all of my audios. Like, in the sense that every single concept, every single character I've written, they all hold a special place in my heart. 
and it's been so great to have some like to reach out to so many people and have everyone support that work and that's great there are of course some audios i'm less proud of than others uh but yeah all right see you later dumpling boy goodbye That's why I'm missing dealing with the weird. <laughs> yep, that's kind of what I was going for, to be honest. I called it a horror audio because I figured that some people would not be okay with hearing those creepy things. By creepy, I mean like the more scariest stuff. But, um, yeah, it's kind of more of dealing with a bit of an obsessive weirdo. Plug in the hard drive or open it. Uh, open it, I guess. <laughs> Anyhow, uh... <laughs> He's mumbling. <laughs> what was I going to do? There was something I was going to do, and I forgot. Oh, yeah. I think I remember now. I think mostly everyone in the comments um, are dudes. So. Hello, little bro. <laughs> little brother. Little sister? Little sibling? <laughs> and how are you doing? Did we have a thought-provoking reflection session with your big old Nissan? <laughs> Something that made me want to cry? Uh, I, I, I hope they were like good tears. Uh, you're welcome. You're welcome. Latte, coffee, chow, hunter, Mitch. Oh boy, that's quite the vocabulary. <laughs> Mitch. Mitch was fun. He went close to the mic. Oh yes, I like getting close to the microphone. I'll do it again. Okay, we're really close to the microphone now. Um, what should I do? What do you guys want me to do? Should I flirt with the microphone? <laughs> you want to hear some deep flirting? Or maybe... Maybe just more shy instead? Or maybe just a ramble? I could ramble about stuff. I don't know. Ooh. Oh. <laughs> well, if you insist. <laughs> Moist. Hmm. You want me to... No, 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 I can't say that. <laughs> uh, this is YouTube, this isn't Patreon. <laughs> You want me to say the fitness gram pacer test again? Why does everyone want me to say the goddamn fitness gram pacer test? I don't even remember it. It's like the fitness gram pacer test is this multi cardioid torture mechanism device that no one wants to do, but everyone has to do for some reason. When you hear the beep, run to the other side of the gym as fast as you can and keep doing that till you can't. Not because you lack talent, but because you're tired. By the way, when you do it, completely by yourself you're not going to last very long but all of the jocks in gym class are going to be doing wild sprints across the entire gym and reflecting how much better they are except the nice ones the nice ones aren't going to be doing that they're just going to run and be like hey it's because i enjoy what i do but then the jocks who are like actually like assholes and really self-absorbed are going to be like oh i'm so much better than all of you and i'll be like nah why didn't i work out more but anyway now doing it in a group for instance that's a different story. You get time to rest, but don't take too long resting because eventually the beeps are going to be so goddamn quick. It's going to sound like a heart monitor rate. Yeah, the fitness gram pacer test was designed to break you and you will break. Line up at the start when you hear the beep run. <laughs> All right. Oh, Roki, you discorded me. All right. Before anyone wonders, I actually know Roki, so... What the? Actually, you know what? I can address that now because a few people have asked. A few people suggested. A few people suggested that for the uh, 10K special, I make a Discord server. I don't know. I might make a Discord server if I ever get to 50K, but I think 10K, I'm not too sure about. Plus, I'm perfectly happy doing what I'm doing right now. I don't think a Discord server is necessary for now. Okay. Now. Oh, okay. The mitochondria is the powerhouse of the cell. The mitochondria is the powerhouse of the cell. 
I like hearing you say memes. <laughs> Evidently. Uh, you're too much. Terrence and me, Emo Ano. Yeah, yeah. 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 They aren't based off of my real parents, if anyone was curious. Don't worry. Okay, hold on. I'm, like, kind of giving my computer a side glance from this angle. So, um... So I might have to use my phone. Malware. Oh, cool. Sorry, I just saw that one of my favorite VAs actually uploaded something. Nice, I will probably listen to that later. Okay, anyway, what do we got? Uh, so it made me feel happy. Shine Echo, okay. Sorry, I think that there were a few other ones. Uh, oh, you just lost the game, or sorry. You just lost the game. Game over. <laughs> All right. Uh... <laughs> the only thing made you feel happy I have asthma. Trust me, yeah, you're not missing out on the fitness grand uh, facer test. Hi, Hunter. Didn't expect to see you here. What's your usual? Flat white with some sugar? <laughs> whoa, 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 what's happening? Sorry, this chat got a little weird. The beep test. Yes, we called it the beep test, too. Ah, I hated the beep test so much. And our gym. We had two gyms, actually. There was the regular gym and the community gym. And they had these, uh, like, uh, green green and i think they were green and gold or green and black i don't know those were the school colors but like uh mats on the wall whenever i was doing the fitness test every time i failed i would just slam into one and just lay there like nope i'm done i'm done <laughs> anyhow okay sorry school sales called the beep test yep i saw that well it's f what you filled your inventory with half price Lord just keep me what all right, I don't know what voice will do that in, but it'll be like, "What? You filled your <laughs> inventorium with half price salami?" Oh wait, no, it sounds more like, "What? You filled your inventorium with half price salami just to keep me out? You can carry like forty-eight items. Not cool, Chris. Not cool." Earphones are really the best thing to have. Oh yeah, fifty k makes more sense. Thanks, Layla. Why is there an empty cup in the corner? That is the tip jar cup. Whenever somebody uh, sends a super chat or a tip. It will fill up with some coins, but I disabled it for this particular stream because I was having problems with that earlier. So the only way you can donate is through Ko-Fi or on Patreon, not through Super Chat. So we can't get that satisfying. Yay! If someone subscribes to the channel or if I get a, a Super Chat event, uh, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. I've been trying to set it up, but like it's supposed to have this little like MP3 file of me going yay, and it's supposed to say like blank subscribed or donated x amount of money and then the jar is supposed to fill up i don't know it's it's hard to tell anyway what else do we got uh can you say material gworl gworl what like material gworl growl this is as low as my voice can go it doesn't go any lower than this kind of i don't know if any of you've ever played divinity original sin 2 but there's this one character named Riker. This voice kind of reminds me of him. He's like, uh, welcome to the manor, God Woken. Welcome back, Starboy. How long have you been here for? <laughs> Let's see. Hurricane... <sighs> Hurricane Katrina. More like Hurricane Tortilla. Get ready for some wonky punky hunkaloo. <laughs> <laughs> that doesn't mean anything. It's just fun to say. Get ready for some wonky punky hunkaloo. Okay. I sound like Dr. Eggman earlier. <laughs> Saying memes with different characters. Yeah, I have considered that. I have a server that's dead AF and I can be changed up and whatnot. Hmm. No, if I ever started a Discord server, I like I would I would be the one running it because I am a moderator and I'm also a control freak and I wouldn't leave it to anyone else. 
I'm part of one server that someone else runs, and every single time I'm like, eh, let me run it. I want to change up this stuff that you're that I don't agree with. <laughs> Do a jigsaw impression. Oh yes, there will be blood. I want to. <laughs> I want to play a game. Like that. This is just random. What type of music are you into? Oh boy, time to bring up my music recommendations again. But first, fighting off anesthesia. Oh boy, the chat is still messy. Okay, look. Let's go with four gyms. We only had two. Jeez. Uh, wish me luck for the rest of the night. Okay. Good luck. Taking care of Blue. I don't know you were just screaming. <laughs> <gasps> Yay! Yeah, I'm glad you guys took the years. Okay. I will murder everything you love. Shy Neko says. I, I didn't mean it. It was for a request. I'm sorry. Material growl. Memes. We love memes. Wheezing. The time on the screen is low key late. Um, it is a little late. Yeah, but it is what it is. Unfortunately. What does it say? Os Memphis. Os Memphis. Wine tastes the same. But where are those who share the memory? What? Osmeth? Osmemphis wine tastes the same, but where are those who share the memory? Huh. I, I, I don't know. I don't know if I got that. Seems like have ever been a long time. <laughs> You're welcome. Oh. Oh no! Our table is broken! No! Friendly reminder that I love you, Coffee. Well, now I have to reciprocate. I love you too. Table. Table. I feel like you're in a Tumblr friend. <laughs> you're in a Tumblr friend? <laughs> I'm, I haven't been, actually. I only... I literally used Reddit for the first time, like, almost a year ago. And that's the only real mainstream social media I ever use. I used, like, I used Snapchat for five minutes to communicate with somebody that I had a crush on, and then that was it. Instagram, for basically the same reason. I only... I literally only got Twitter just to like message somebody and i was like ah, i guess i might as well use it for fan art i guess youtube is the only real mainstream social media thing that i use <laughs> are you gonna finish that croissant are you going to finish that croissant give it to me Ila Ila cthulhu fachthin cthulhu fachthin hi oh baby <laughs> baby girl baby girl <laughs> Stop. oh the <laughs> ah, stop. I could have dropped my croissant. Stop! I could have dropped my croissant. You're not- You're not witnessing anything. You are hearing things. Oh, boy. <laughs> if, 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 could you recreate the Shia LaBeouf one? <laughs> I kind of wish I had that memorized. The only, the only part I know is the most iconic uh, bit is the- uh, but wait, he isn't dead. Shy surprise! <laughs> uh. Alright guys, I'm starting to get a bit of a sore throat from doing all these voices. Thank you for coming out to celebrate. It's been great. I will work on the other audios as soon as I can. I'm a little tired from working on the other ones, and I have a ton of work to keep on top of, but... I am working on it. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you guys continue to enjoy. Thank you very much for being here. I'm going to drink. I'm actually going to go drink punch. Not even joking. Ah, damn it. And I just remembered I was going to tell you guys a story about when I got drunk, but it's too late now. <laughs> I'll tell you guys some other time. But yes, see you guys later. Thank you very much for joining. Ah, and I'm glad this banner worked. Also, the cup. Don't worry, guys. Psh, we got the mouse in the cup. They can't escape. All right. Good night, everyone. Bye.